Demon with the fiber, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the large grass stream. Today, it's big and it's ass, but in, in a good way, because it's huge ass. How do we, four minutes in? I don't know if I can get away. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, anyway, we're we're here, we're big, we're big ass tonight. We're huge ass out here right now. Alright, listen. I I saw the tweets, okay? Huge ass is a terrible name for a map. I get it. But this map huge ass. Now, what I want you to think about is where I am right now. Where are you right now? Look at me. Now look at yourself. Where am I? I'm on a new structure. There's a whole new structure. Let's go, baby. Yeah, that's right. Remember? Oh, fuck. Remember the a uh, frick. Remember those structures I said I was going to add on? This is it. I'm on the structure. Uh, I'll show you it in a second. But it's pretty neat. It's nice. It's a little uh, base type thing for people to sit on. Can't look at yourself. Sounds like a personal problem. Uh, let me quickly get to the tips and super chats that we just had come in real quick. Uh, Ray tipped one dollar. Thank you very much. Starting off the stream right, a dollar and a dream. That's right. The dream to make high quality, fun Halo mods every day. That is the dream. And thank you for supporting my dream. Demon also super chatted a fiver. Thank you very much. Halo 3 is good and all, but have you tried playing Black Ops 2 Zombies 11 years after the game came out, reuniting the boys? I can't say I have. Actually, no, that's a lie. I totally have, and it's a lot of fun. But not specifically 11 years later. It was more like 9 years later. But it was still very fun, and honestly, that's the fucking move, and that's a hell of a mood. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to do a sick kickflip. Watch this. Oh! Fuck! God damn it. Get back here. Ah! How did that, how did that, how did that actually happen? What, what? <laughs> Yo, did you see that kickflip? Did you guys see that? That was sick! That was crazy, yo. That shit was dope. What? Where am I? How? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's try that again. My name's Rejected Shotgun, and this is Jackass. Uh, fuck. Ah! Why does this keep happening? Where the fuck am I, dude? 
Okay, hold on. This is uh, a. <laughs> I take two, take three. Fuck! Oh, okay, hold on, we'll get it this time. We'll for sure get it this time. Take, take four. Oh, four. all right, well. All right, check, check out this kickflip. Yeah, this is crazy. Anyway, great start to the stream so far. Welcome, everybody, to another day, another huge ass. And this is, in fact, huge ass. But it's better because it's Halo 3, the best Halo game. Don't let those Reach lovers trick you into thinking that Reach is a better game than 3. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea. That's fake news, and it's silly of them to ever even imagine such a thing. So don't, don't listen to the, don't listen to the non-believers. Oh wait, there's no grass. Hold on. I gotta put grass. Watch this. Grass. And I fixed the grass too. Uh, it's not perfect. I probably have to replace it. It's on some rocks and stuff. But I, I fixed it and it doesn't look all that good in here. But once I switch over to the actual in-game grass, uh, it looks much, much better. All this grass looks much, much better. I promise. They, it takes to the shadows and stuff properly, which is nice. Also, uh, I literally left my PC on overnight. It probably only took like two to three hours, but I baked the entire map on medium lighting and it looks decent actually. I'll probably have to bake it on super lighting because even on medium it does this little splotchy stuff. But yeah, on medium lighting it's pretty good. I actually can't complain too much. It's nice. It's not reach. Listen, I'll do reach after I do my tipathon where I set a stupid tip goal like I used to and I make the final tip goal actually finally modding reach. But look, I, I baked the lighting. These lights are decent, okay? These lights are all decent. You can see them lighting up stuff and in areas. Like, look at this. It's all kind of dark down here, but you come in here and the ceiling lights are, like, doing work. Nice. It, it gives me Halo CE vibes down here. It's almost like these hangers were pulled from Halo CE. Crazy. Wild. Ooh, no membership for Green Knight. That's a, that's a rough one there, buddy. It's a, it's a real rough one. Oh, look, you can see the shadow of the longsword through here. Brother! My brother in Christ! Uh, hello? Bro! Did anybody else just see that? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Demon? <laughs> what the fuck? Demon, thank you very much for that $99 tip. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, are you actually... Dude, we're like barely 10 minutes into the stream. Hello? <laughs> Holy fuck. Thank you so much for that $99 tip, dude. Jesus Christ. Why is the bounding box... Oh... I know why. Thank you. Sorry, I'm being distracted. Thank you very fucking much. You, what did you What did you even tip with that? You said, uh, I bet that filling that nice bar of yours will let me bribe you into saying that reach and four forage is better. Look, all right, I'm not one to take bribes. That being said, <laughs> you're right. Halo 3's forage sucks booty hole. It, it's really not that great. Uh, Halo Reach forage, on the other hand, is way better. And I would, I would say Halo 4 forage is better because it has like light baking and stuff. The problem is, Halo 4's Forge, oh, and it has magnets, which is sweet, but Halo 4's Forge pieces are kind of ugly. And uh, if, like, if somebody just poured it over the Reach Forge pieces, like, I know Halo 4 basically just has Halo Reach's Forge, but light baking and magnets, which is great, don't get me wrong, that's awesome. But the textures, gross concrete, I didn't sign up for that. And yeah, I miss Forge World. Halo 4's for default Forge map suck booty hole. If some Green, please port Forge World to Halo 4 so I actually play the game. Please. Please. I need this. Oh, look how nice that is. Big bright lights outside. Like the interior in here, it's sort of dim, right? It's sort of kind of dim. You got the lights and stuff. But then you see out there, look at that light bouncing, that high quality calculated light bouncing onto the walls there with that ambient 
not not ambient inclusion. Well, I guess technically, but like also not technically. Uh, it's a uh, global illumination from the high quality light baking as the light blasts in and bounces, bouncing all over the place. Oh, and then the HDR. Look at that HDR. I can see perfectly in here, and it's so over bright out there. Oh, I love uh, 2007 video game graphics. The technology. It's really special. Demon. Um, wait, hold on. Der Grudman also super chatted it too. Thank you very much. Well, oh, that's my that's my log. That's the log. Thank you very much for the two, Der Grunman. I appreciate it. I'm using a VPN to play Company of Heroes 3 in Australia. Do you have to use a VPN for that? Do you actually? It's kind of poo-poo if you do. But thank you very much for the tip there, or for the super chat there. Honestly, I haven't played Company of Heroes in a minute, and that brings me back. Uh, Ray tipped one dollar and one set into the tip bar, the tip bar, tip jar, whatever you want to call it. Thank you very much for the one dollar and one cent. Taking us from the even one hundred dollars that Demon had us at to one hundred one dollars and one cent. You fucking creature. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, no, we don't accept even numbers. You. It's fine. No, really, it's fine. And then Demon super chatted a fiver. <laughs> and he said, if somebody ported over the Reach Forge pieces, it would be better, says the Halo modder. Listen, man. If I manually ported over all the Reach Forge pieces to Halo 4, actually, now that I... No, it would take too long. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, it's not. Right? Uh, look at this beautiful map, you guys. The baked lighting, the, the unfinished baked lighting. It's so nice. I upped the light mapping resolution of the big BSP because I realized it was blurry as hell. And now it looks pretty spicy. You can drag and drop every tag except shaders. No, that's the thing that made me not want to because Halo 4 basically already has all the physics models and collision models and magnets set up because it already uses retextured Reach Forge pieces. You would just need to re-import the render models and do the shaders. That's the problem. I don't want to do the shaders for a bunch of Halo 4 stuff, man. That's so much work. And I wouldn't even use it that much because I don't play Halo 4. I do, I do something like that for Reach. Like, all my Ultimate Forge pieces, I'd port those over to Reach in a heartbeat, right? That would be totally badass, totally worth it. Bro, he's such a bot. Bro, I don't play Halo 4. What do you want from me? <laughs> I just don't. I'll do it for Reach. I, listen, I, I will legit do it for Reach. Oh, webcam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Do I look good today? I don't know. You could use some work. I definitely look like I woke up a couple hours ago, which is totally not true. I feel like I should have something better for the, the nuke animation, the way that you launch a nuke on a longsword. Maybe like have it launch and fire and then let go. Something like that would be cool. Where'd it, where'd it go? I lost track of it. Where's the nuke? Oh, 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 oh it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. You play Halo 4 more if there was an Ultimate Forge-like mod with perfectly sinking large vehicles and shit? I totally would. 100% I would. Yo, wait, Green, did you show anybody what you sent me in DMs in Halo 4? That was fucking sick. That was properly taking advantage of the engine benefits of Halo 4. And I really liked what you sent me. Can I pull it up on stream? Do you care if I do? Uh, it was the 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 mech, the big better mech, the, the soup, the be the better mantis. Oh damn, that was a perfect landing, dude. I'm actually getting good at that. Here, here, let me guys show you what Green Green did. Hey, Lucifer, thanks for becoming a member. Re-upping for three months. Look at your golden badge. I see you. I see you. Thank you very much. Hey, hey. All right, wh where's my DMs with Green? The Green Knight. All right, here, check this out. This this is going to look like, oh, that's cool, I guess, I think. Some of you are going to pog super hard. Oh, wait, he sent me another thing on MP4. He said, it's scuffed right now. Okay, yeah. 
Of course it's gonna be scuffed right now. You just started on it, but check this out. Check this out. Uh, bu -bu -bu, where am I? Here. Look at this. Look at this. This is Green's Halo 4 right now. It's the fucking Colossus. Dude, I wanted to port this to Halo 3 so bad, but I didn't because the feet, the little feetsies don't work. But also, also, look at this. It's feet because Halo 4 has the Mantis and you can drive bipeds and stuff. If you, You've heard me rant about this probably because it doesn't work very good in Halo 3. In Halo 4, it works perfectly in Forge because the Mantis exists. Look at that, the leg. The leg. Look at that leg. It's offset based on Forge pieces and terrain. Can you believe the IK rigging in Halo 4? The technology, dude. It's so good. It's so good. Is that the mecha that someone was making? No, no, no. This is the Halo Wars 2 Colossus. The big beefy boy. The big old, big old Halo boy. That was a goofy ass walk cycle. I let me let me elaborate on that sharp because I agree with you, okay? Green. You gotta animate this thing yourself, man. Listen, Halo Wars 2 is a comical, top-down type game, okay? Things are exaggerated and, and cartoony. We absolutely need... What am I listening to right now? Oh, I'm listening to... I'm listening to the Black Ops soundtrack? I am listening to the Black Ops soundtrack. I'm okay with that. Listen, man. It's it, Halo Wars 2, it's, it's cartoony and things are, like, shaped funny. We gotta take it upon ourselves to the... I mean, Halo's a slightly cartoony... Uh, game to begin with, you know, it's got like lighthearted humor and a slightly cartoony art style, at least in Halo 3 and b before. But all I'm saying is, if you're gonna put that in Halo 4, Reach, those are very gritty, realistic games. We're gonna need to get those things animated, looking serious. We're gonna need some impact. Actually, let me see it though. Wait, can you get a camera perspective of it from like below? Like, like you get the camera on the ground and you walk by. I'm curious to know if it looks like beefy from below or not. Because chances are it might just be funny looking from when you're driving it. Projected check your LS ramp. Something's off about it? Longsword ramp? Something wrong with it? Hmm. I'm looking. It doesn't have any texture issues. I fixed all the UV maps. Everything seems good. Oh! Demon! Super chatted a tenor. Damn! It actually hit my OBS before it hit uh, my chat. That's crazy. We have the technology for that. Thank you very much for the tether, though. That's super generous of you, and I appreciate it very much. It's almost as if you and Green are working together to make a mod that would actually get you to play... Wait, it's almost as if you and Green working together to make a mod that would actually get you to play Halo 4 would be a good idea, and I 100% Green bet Green would be down for it. But I want a mod Reach first. But I want a mod Reach before Halo 4. Excuse me. Reach sounds like a lot of fun. And, like... At this point, when it comes to Halo 3, like, I can speed through things hilariously fast. Like, it is so satisfying how fast I can get things done in this game. I absolutely love it. I really do. And so I think if I can translate that to Halo Reach, find out what the, the little quirky tricks are that I have to do to get it to work fully, and I can get as good as at reach as I am with three, then that's gonna be fucking awesome. And Der Grunman with another super chat. Thank you for the fiver. I appreciate it. Uh, did you know the trucks in Halo Reach have actual grunt kill markers? Oh, wait, what? No, I did not know that. What is that for? Uh, but thank you. Uh-oh, wait. I'm playing copyrighted music. Ooh, I can't play Avenged Sevenfold on stream. They might take my YouTube channel away. All right, back to the Halo soundtracks. Uh, but also, please don't add Battlefield 4's car bombs to Halo 3. I beg of you. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You literally are powerless. This is Halo now. <laughs> There's nothing that you can do. These are the best things that have been added to Halo in a long time, all right? Wait, that didn't blow it up. Hello? It's supposed to it's supposed to take two. Yeah, whatever. You spawn with three ammo anyway, it's perfect. <laughs> uh let's see what the other super chat. Uh Nande super chatted two. Thank you very much. 
Think about the possibilities in 4's engine. Do it. Ah, see, I would, but then I would get so sucked in and I'd be modding Halo 4 for like literally months on end because I would want to make it feel like an OG Halo game. Alright, everybody. The Halo Reach Alpha Wombat. I fucking love this thing. I hope 343 employees don't get mad at me for having this. That is all. <laughs> Woo! Oh, the effects really are satisfying. I am so happy with how these came out. It does feel like a jet of some kind. You know, this would be a good space fighter for Halo 4. Just port all of Halo 3 into Halo 4. I would be more tempted to port Reach stuff. I think I would do more Reach because, well, I don't know. Halo 3 stuff could look theoretically good in there. Okay, here's something I've noticed, and I wanna, I'm going to see if I can fix this right now. I hope I don't fuck everything up. So if you notice, when I am flying a ship in this hangar and I go up, it gets really fucking bright all of a sudden. However, when I get close to the ground where the light maps kick in, okay, so the light maps are now overriding. My vehicle is lit correctly as though it is taking on the shadow of the ground, but then I go to the middle of the room where I'm away from the lights, and suddenly it's very bright, all right? I'm gonna, uh, this is bothering me a lot, and I'm pretty sure I know how to fix this. Uh, so I think if my, my hunch is correct, what my hunch is telling me is that when I'm down here, the light map is controlling, the baked light map that I have on the map is controlling how dark my ship is, but when I get up here, the skybox is controlling my lighting. So right now, I'm as bright as the outside, because the outside has a super bright skybox. So I think, I can test this really quickly, all I have to do, like, is go out here. Yeah, my, my lighting doesn't change at all. So, what that means is, when I go inside these hangars, due to my incredible foresight and luck, I already have these hangars as separate BSPs, which are, like, separate maps. So for those of you guys who don't know, each hangar uh, takes different light maps, which is why the light maps look so high quality in here. If you noticed, it's like, wow, look how smooth the lighting is in here. And then you go out here and it's like, oh my god, it's so splotchy. It's because the hangers are separate maps. Each hanger is a completely separate map. So you're actually loading three maps when you play my huge ass remaster. So I can take advantage of this by making the skybox inside the hangers dark. So if I give a dark skybox to the hangers, then, ho then ideally when I float up, I won't like immediately turn into the fucking surface of the sun and my eyes won't melt out of my head. So let me let me see real quickly if I can do a quick test of this. And I'm I'm literally just praying here. I have no idea if this is going to scuff my baked lighting. I'm just I'm literally praying that I don't. All right, so we go we go into here. We find my scenario. This is the main file that controls uh all the stuff on the map. We go into it real quick. I think all I have to do is add a second skybox and then assign it to the hangers. And then when I'm in there, theoretically, it won't make me turn into the surface of the sun. Okay, so we have huge grass. It's the main BSP. Then we have hangar one and hangar two. So hangar one and hangar two. Uh, I'm going to go into sky. So we have one sky. And then I'm going to add another sky from... Tags, levels, what would be like a good dark hanger sky? Meow, meow. Oh yeah, green can't do cat emoji. That's rough, dude, that's rough. Listen, you have to, you have to bait gifted memberships. You See, now that you're, you have it rough as a chatter, as somebody who's not willing to pay for membership, you have to go, any gifters in the chat? Anybody, can anybody gift me a membership? Any gifters? And then if you're lucky, somebody will pull through. I sent you a video of the goofy animation. Okay, let me see it. Let me first do this. Sky zero is probably fine. Okay, so I do that. Sky zero. That's a new skybox in the map. And then I go to hangar one. And I set the sky to the second one. Let's see if that works. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I'm still really bright. I think I think it was the other sky. Won't won't. 
All right, let's see. Did this work? Did this work? Nope, I'm still very bright. Mm -hmm. The huge ass hangers are always reminding me of the ending of CE where you escape in the longsword. See, it's funny that you say that because that's exactly what they are. Um, Charles the Spider Train. Thank you very much for the $2 super chat. Hello, rejected. Charles has just joined. Welcome, Charles. I missed you. Ah! Uh, Culture Desert tipped $2 into the tip jar in the description. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You said you just lost the game. Fuck, dude! I've been on a winning streak on the game for like four years, dude. What the fuck? Do you know how long of a streak that is that I have not lost the game for? That is fucked up, man. God damn it! All right. Demon with a tenor, no less. Goddamn! You guys are crazy today. Thank you very much, Demon. Appreciate it. By the way, you'll like what I did with the updated demolition map. Instead of having to shoot the scarab down... Wait, what? Okay. Instead of having to shoot the scarab down, it will randomly land somewhere on the map. Yes, that includes inside of the bases, because it's funny. <laughs> oh, that's fucking... Wait, you're... Okay, I'm not thinking of Dominion. This is Demolition. I'm not getting confused. I was, for a second, I was like, whoa, demons in the Halo 4 mod tools making a map with a scarab? No way. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, that is cool, though. I like the idea that the scarab could randomly fall into a base. That's funny as fuck. Wait, you gifted a membership to Creed? Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yeah. Thank you, demon. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm sure Green does, too. Uh, wait, what's today? We're doing game night on Friday, and today is, I don't even know, I'm losing track. It's Wednesday, so two more days. We'll play, we'll play Demolition, and it'll be a good time. So, hey, all of you guys in chat who want to get your maps out, and you want to see us play them on stream, we're going to do an Ultimate Forge game night on Friday, this Friday. So, any maps that you haven't posted onto the Discord server that you want to be played, make sure you post your maps. We'll absolutely play them. That's if you want them to be seen and played and, and you want to join in on all that. <laughs> See, people are crazy for the stream today. I mean, how could they not? Look at this large grass. Large grass. Go. <sighs> Large grass map. Imagine this, right? You're just like sitting down here. You're like, oh boy, I, I sure I'm gonna go for a nice little, uh, nice little swim today. I think I think it's, it's feeling pretty good today. I, I'm, you know, it's, it's a, I've been having a rough day, but where did the nuke go? Hello. Yo, the nuke's just gone. I just launched a nuke and it just disappeared. Explain. Can we get a Crash Pelican in the lake? Ah, oh, yeah, Crash Pelican would be good. Maybe I'll do it as a Forge object. And, no, I should probably bake it into the map. The one thing I wanted to do with Huge Ass that I wanted it to... I, I don't want this to be a Forge canvas, so I can throw down whatever I want on this map. And I think Crash Pelicans are necessary. Alright, let's see if I can survive a, a nuclear impact. Wait, if I launch myself out of the driver's seat by disappearing, it causes the nuke to disappear. How strange. Okay, okay. Now that I know that, I can account for it. I can account for it. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, Demon, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. I appreciate the fuck out of you for that. I'll be updating it again tonight. Y'all better download it or force someone else to. I will. I know how to download them and get them to work now. So that was just like an issue I had because it was weird because I was the map creator. It was doing some funny stuff, but yeah, yeah. Sorted it out. Um, and, uh, Adam, Adam, I'm just gonna call you Adam. <laughs> Thank you very much for the two, I appreciate it. Remake Teletubby map. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I won't. <laughs> also, are you talking about the Teletubby horror map? I feel like that's what you're talking about. You guys ever play that old, old, like, indie Teletubby horror game? Where, like, one person was a murderous Teletubby and everybody else was just running around trying to survive them. Uh, let's see. Ash tipped 
five dollars. I My mean, GF and I just got smooshed, and she literally started playing Borderlands. Anyway, how are we doing, besties? Honestly, that's based as fuck. You're just like, hey, hey, GG, GG, I'm gonna go play some Borderlands. Listen, I'll be the first... <laughs> I'll be the first person to admit, after sex before I have said GG, and then promptly left the room <laughs> to go to other shit, alright? It happens, it happens. It does happen. Joe the Assassin, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. I'm gonna drive another shadow through the tunnels to capture the flag on that game night. Good. Good. Was that how you did- oh my god, I didn't even realize that happened. But that makes sense. So for Crash Pelican, use a Crash Longsword from Reach that's hilariously undersized. Is there a Crash Long... Oh, you're talking about the Crash Longsword in 3, aren't you? Because there's... That's what the... That's what this Longsword uses. I had to scale it up because it was so tiny. But yeah, this... When you blow the Longsword up here, it, uh... It ends up turning into that Crash Halo 3 Longsword. But I, like I said, I had to make it really big. Look at that. Wow. Damon, thank you very much for that $5 super chat. How much uh, to get you to skip from huge ass and go right to four with green? I am not skipping this map, dude. This, listen, I know that you may not be like a custom edition player and you don't like Halo 3's engine all that much, or at least you're tired out with it. But let me just say this, okay? Huge ass is gonna be very fucking fun. This is actually gonna be a fun map. It's gonna look pretty, it's gonna be nice. This, I ain't skipping it, I ain't <laughs> skipping it. I, I gotta I gotta finish this map and it's nearly done too. We're so close to finishing. All right, Charles, thank you very much for that tenor. Oh shit! Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Damn, appreciate it. that's two fivers. Uh, I haven't updated to you on my Valhalla mod in a month. Now I have two frigates, two cruisers, and another Crash Pelican on my map. Nothing much has changed, but I can't wait to finish it. Well, good. Don't give up on your maps. Make sure you do end up finishing it. I gotta touch up this grass. Holy, it's floating. That sounds dope, though. Keep on keeping on. Make those good, good Halo mods. Drone finished? Uh, not finished, but close to it. I'm gonna add, like, one... No, I'm gonna add two different damage states for it, where I'm just gonna mangle it a little bit, throw in some, like, textures of some, like, debris and stuff, maybe add some sparks to it. Love the base design? Thanks, but I didn't make it. <laughs> I just stole this from Halo 3's campaign. You'll you'll possibly recognize the structure where when I tell you where it's from. So this structure, which is on both sides of the map, by the way, this structure is from uh, the mission, the Ark, right when you're fighting the Scarab. When you're fighting the Scarab, it lands, if this is the Ark, this structure is here, the Scarab lands like right here, and there's that big open space, and this structure is right up on the hill before the Scarab Arena. So that's where this is from. That's why also it's colored a little bit like desert-ish. It's kind of got like those tan hues to it. Um, I'm actually very tempted to swap these out to, like, more neutral shaders. I thought that's where it was from, yeah. But actually, it feels quite perfect, because, one, it was really easy to rip out of the map, because it was a big piece of instance geometry. Oh, can I get your take on the uh, Colossus animations? Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Here, let me, let me look at it real quick. Alright. Whoa, Discord got a UI update. That's crazy. Okay, here is... Okay, your map lighting is cursed. I don't know what is, I don't know what they told you about that skybox, but this do not be looking right. Shit is funny looking. Maybe it's just Halo 4. I don't know. But okay, let me see the animations. Wait, damn. Damn. The Spartan that you got in Halo 4 looks good. Look at that, dude. That's Halo 4 with a classic chief. You love to see it. All right, let's see the animations. Okay, yeah, it's a little goofy, dude. I hate to say it. So, there's two things that stick out to me. One is a small thing, where the feet just kind of slide a little bit, because, you, if you notice, the foot slides a little bit there, because the it, it needs to actually be running a little bit faster than this, I think. I don't know if it's walking speed matches where it's going. The other thing is that it kind of just, like, hops around. He literally says like he's jumping. He's just like, yay! He's jumping with each step. If it had, like, a... If, I'm pretty sure this thing is supposed to be taller, first of all. Which means that it's okay for it to be slower and have a more dramatic, dramatic like, 
walk cycle. In my, this is just my opinion, obviously. You can keep this and do whatever you want. Like, this isn't bad, but I just feel like for Halo, you could make it more, like, for these classic Bungie mainline games, if you, if you animated this to just have, like, a similar walk cycle, but, like, slower and more, more, like, impact to it, it'd be good. It needs an IK rig. Yeah, it's not that painful to set up. It looks like it's already good, got a good enough rig that you can get these animations working in game. Because the fact that the in game IK works says a lot. Like my Mantis that I have in Halo 3, the IK rig on it, or the rig on it, is so fucked I could never even dream of getting a working IK in game. The fact that you have working IK in game means your rig is good. So you're probably, probably fine. Anyway, look at this. It's a Halo video game. Look at those lights and stuff, that's crazy. Look at those lights. Wow, wow, wow. The game, uh, in-game IK broke for no reason. The fuck? Uh... Yeah, that sounds like trying to work with IK in Halo. Not surprised. But I do like the structure, can I just say? This is a nice addition to the map. I think this is good. I am feeling positively about this structure. What is happening up there? Anyway, I like this. I think this looks good, and I am genuinely excited to play with this on the map. Bro, Mr. Dono for real, for real? I did, and it looks like it was a very important one. Charles, thank you very much for the $2 super champ. Did you ever find your Among Us? What if I did? Hmm? What's it to you? Maybe I did. I don't really know specifically what you're asking, but on a totally unrelated note, has anybody in chat found the ultimate 4G egg? If nobody has found it by now, I'm so tempted to just tell you where it is. It is in a really obvious spot. It is ridiculously obvious. I have to go take a test now. Good luck, dude. I wish you the best of luck in your test. I believe in you. You have a medium rare brain, which means you're gonna get medium rare test results. And there is no better way to cook a steak. All right. The Easter egg is in the farthest corner of the map by the lake. There you go. That's it, all right. Nobody figured it out. Nobody figured it out. Hey, this looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? It's pretty decent. It's so obvious. Proceeds to put it in the corner of the map. That's, listen, you guys, come on. You clearly have not played on community maps with Easter eggs. That's like the, that's like the number one spot somebody would hide something, dude. If you gotta think for a second, like when I was playing Halo Custom Edition maps and I was like, I wanna see if there's any Easter eggs on this map. That would be like my go-to place to find it, dude. It would be so, that would, that's not hard. What do you, what do you mean nobody would go there? Exactly, of course nobody would go there. That's why I put an Easter egg there. That's what makes it an Easter egg hiding spot, man. Man. Man, I gotta fix this grass a little bit. But like your map is massive. Yeah, but it's empty. There's only so many places you could hide something on such a barren wasteland. Then it's not obvious if nobody would go there. No, you see, you don't get it. That's why it's obvious. Because when you're hunting for an Easter egg, you already know it's gonna be in a place that nobody would guess. So the moment you're like, hmm, where where is this Easter egg? You gotta go, where's the, like, where is this gonna be the most out of the way? Where is the most hidden area? I kept saying it was very simple. It wasn't in, it was in a very obvious location. It's not gonna be in the middle of the ocean somewhere. It was in a very specific spot in the water. The corner of the map, of course. I'm not that mean. Bro saying Easter egg, bro, too soon. I say no chunky eggs for you. Listen! I only eat the Reese's eggs on Easter, all right? Those are the best ones. I need to fix that. That's bothering me. But, you know, the Reese's eggs are the best ones, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
I just make it a two-step Easter egg with a hidden button to spawn it. See, I did something like that on, um, I actually made a, a button that activates the Easter egg on Overpass, and I don't think anyone figured it out. Uh, everybody thinks you need Forge Mode to access the secret Easter egg out of the map on Overpass, but that's actually not true. You can do it in-game, it just, nobody does. <laughs> nobody seems to have figured it out yet. So, there you go. If you can figure it out, there's a button on Overpass that you can press. Yeah, there's a button on Overpass that lets you access the Easter egg in custom games without the need for Forge. But nobody seems to have found it, and it's not that well hidden either. Like, I was, at, at some point I was like, damn, uh, geez, I'm gonna have to like remove this because it's gonna cause people to do dumb shit. No, I'm not gonna tell you guys that one. I ain't gonna mint blitz my way to it, bro. Listen, it's not that hard to find. There is an Easter egg that is placed team neutral all right, so you don't have to be on red team or blue team specifically if you want to uh, find the Easter egg. You showed it on stream by the tower, right? By the tower? I don't think there's a tower on the map. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's, that is the Easter egg to get you outside the map to go outside and see all the secret stuff. Now, if you can find the button, best of luck. It's not that well hidden, but it's there. It's there. Listen, I'm, that's all. I'm not answering any more questions, all right? I'm not answering any more questions. That is all. You've received all of the information that you can get. God, I love the C4. This is the best weapon ever. Pew. I want to watch you fly around in the koala some more. The thruster effects are amazing. They are nice. I really am happy with how they came out. It helps, too, that the vehicle itself looks good. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention this. This is work in progress. Please keep this in mind. I, I just did this as a quick test because I was tired of this thing sitting on the ground. Um, I ripped off part of the, uh, the bottom here, and I threw it down like this just so that it had landing gear it's really shitty looking i know i'll make a better one with like a wheel and stuff but yeah i just threw this here so now you can get in and the little thingy will fold up into the vehicle and there you go now it's uh, it lands perfectly straight which is nice you want it to be facing forward you don't want it looking down into the ground charles thank you so much for that fiver i really appreciate it we also add a Crashed Pelican as a forgeable prop. Yeah, stuff like the Crashed Pelican and some of the really good forge pieces from Ultimate Forge will make their way onto the map. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Anything that you liked on Ultimate Forge, I'm going to say like 60 to 80% of Ultimate Forge stuff will also be on this map. Why is the Halo 3 forge menu so bad? That, listen, on this map, the forge menu will be organized. I want you to know the re Ultimate Forge had a shitty unorganized list. Because I really just wanted to get the mod out. On this map, I will organize the list much better and keep things much cleaner. I'll even completely edit the forge menu so that it looks better. It'll look more like the Arcbound forge menu on this map. Alright, now I do want to make some adjustments. I, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to work on first today on the map, but I think uh, I'm going to do some adjustments to this vehicle first. And one of the first things I'm going to do, AI on this map? Yeah, yeah, I'll put AI on the map. I'll make it so you can uh, you can place AI around and they'll walk around and stuff. They'll, they'll have the same AI as Ultimate Forge. And I'm, if, I'm feeling, if I'm feeling crazy and kooky, I might even add a couple extra AI, like Flood or something. Rejected, better not forget about the stripes on the side of the cockpit. I see stripes. They look, oh, wait. Why do they shine differently? What do you mean by that? When you make those bottom wings fold up, then you can have less tall nose gear to reduce the verticality. Uh, I probably won't do that. I kind of like the way that it looks. This I'll probably just keep it like this for now. But I'll, I'll make a good landing gear that looks like pretty decent. They're supposed to be red. Are they really? Oh, they kind of do look like they're supposed to be red. Wait, let me check this out in Blender. I gotta go into Blender anyway and take a look at the uh, this updated Reach Alpha Wombat. So let me see what material it is and stuff because I don't I don't know what going on there. All right, so drone. So here's the here's the drone and all of its beauty. What material is this? 
This is the drone fighter mat. I don't think it can be red. I think it's supposed to be gray, actually. But, that being said, these are supposed to be matte parts of the texture, which means they're supposed to be a lot less shiny. This, this is matte, and the bottom is metal. So I think the matte part here, I should reduce the shine on a little bit, and then increase the shine on... Or I guess the metal is probably shiny enough, but then on the matte, I could just reduce it a bit. Let me see, is, would that make sense? Would that look good? I kind of like it the way that it is right now, to be honest. Hmm. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. We can we can pop open the drone real quick. No biggie. Scroll down to objects, vehicle. Oop, not that. Vehicles, and we get up that drone alpha. Where are you? D D D drone alpha. Grab those shaders. We go to the matte shader right here. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I'll give it a shot first, and then see if whether or not I like it. I'll do a quick rough test by saying the. I'll double the roughness value, which should help with that. Uh, hmm. I'm not really noticing a huge difference with it, to be honest. Let me let me pause the game. Game speed zero. And then slow my camera down a little. Does that really look much different? You can tell at certain angles that these metal parts are slightly shinier, but... Whoops. You can tell that they're slightly shinier, but... Eh. Kind of just wish it was a bit faster. Well, tell me, does it... This boost is pretty fast. When I boost with this thing, it's pretty dang quick. I didn't want to make it too fast. Like, this is 100% faster than the Pelicans and the Phantoms and the Spirits. Does the drone look like a tiny saber? Kinda, yeah. Oh, wait, the effects. The effects aren't working again. Oh, well. But yeah, you can get across the map on this thing pretty quickly. That was also huge, which betrays the portrayal of speed. That is 100% accurate. Like, this hangar, just the hangar I'm inside of right now, is fucking huge. This is bigger than, like, every Halo 3 map. Just for one hangar. And I can immediately cross it in, like, no time at all. This map is comparable to the size of Ultimate Forge, so the fact that I'm zooming around at this speed... is crazy. I'm gonna remove the Banshee trick, sorry. If I do this, it doesn't even work. Oh, it tried. It really did try. Abyss, re-up on your membership? I am shook. I'm literally shook. Thank you very much for re-upping for two months, man. A yellow badge, let's go. So yeah, if you were worried that this is a slow vehicle, let me assure you, it is, it is not. Maybe the red stripes got messed up in the texture for the model? I don't know. There's one way to find out, though. We'll go into Blender, select the stripes, and let's see what they are attached to in the UV map. Where are the stripes? They are right here. It's kind of hard to see because this UV map has the alpha baked in, but it's right here. And the stripes are not red on the texture, so... I would wager that they are not supposed to be that color. I could color them the same red. It looks like the red stripes themselves are just solid blocks painted in, so... If I wanted to make them red, I could just go and do the same thing right there on the texture, so it's no biggie. I could get that done. I'll leave it for now, though, just because it's not like the biggest, biggest priority. That said, another thing that I will fix as time goes on is slowly reducing the amount of, like, sharp edges that are just all over the place for literally no reason. There's just a lot of them. It was nice that, um, that I had a good start with these sharp edges, but, like, there are definitely too many of them than are necessary. Like, this entire top part of the wing, I could just go through here. And just, like, remove them pretty quickly. And, oops. Clear. Sharp. I don't want to spend any more time doing this, because this is a really boring thing to do. I'll do this off-stream, but since I already did that wing... Oh, this wing's good, actually, more or less. Bow, bow, bow. Demo Gaming, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. It doesn't look like, it doesn't have landing gear, right? How about a launch vehicle like off the back of a trailer? Hmm. 
It's a cool idea, but then it would be, you wouldn't really be able to just place it easily in the hangar. It would look kind of funny. Why are these here? How did I how did I not catch these? The top of the cockpit just has a bunch of random ass sharp lines. Hello. I, I do like the idea, to be honest with you, demo. I think it would be sick, but it that's something I would want to do in like a campaign mod, right? Where in multiplayer, I just want to be able to place down these vehicles, like wherever. But if I'm doing like a scripted campaign mission, or like one where I don't know, how do I put it? Like you just are in a mission and you can have things like that where it's not really going to affect the multiplayer much, then that would be sick. Alright, I'll keep that for now. Okay, the only other thing I wanted to do was I wanted the missiles to come out of the actual missiles themselves. So I'm going to grab... Uh, oh wait, also... Before I forget, I need to check these engines. Like, the engines, for some reason, are angled down. Yeah, they're angled down four degrees, which is weird. I'm going to take all the engines and make them not angled down. This one's angled down seven degrees? Why? I want them to come out of the engines straight up. That's so weird that they're angled down. Okay, anyway, I'm going to make it so the... Ah, uh, God, the primary triggers here. These are going to be the secondary trigger. And this is basically where your secondary weapon shoots out of. So the missiles, in the case of this vehicle, is that. So and then I go down here, I go secondary trigger is the name of that. And then I'll move it to the missile. Like, let me look at it from the front. Like that. <laughs> That'll probably be good. Hey, Skaboodly! Good to see you! Thank you very much for the tenor. Oh, and I missed the super chat before that, but uh, thank you very much for the tenor, Skaboodly. Appreciate it. Would it be cool to copy paste your hanger for my version of huge ass? You're making a version of huge ass too. <laughs> uh, also, to clarify, also clarify something. I see the names huge ass and extinction getting tossed around almost interchangeably. So huge ass is uh, different from extinction. Huge ass is a uh, it's an older map. It's made by the same person who made the original extinction, I believe. Tiamat went by Ender, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, long story short. It's a, it's a different map from Extinction, but it is... Wait, can I just put a negative here and call it? I can, sweet. Um, but while it is a totally separate map, it also has a lot of shared stuff, which is why I've been having fun with it and I don't mind working on it. Because this hangar that I have, like the one you're talking about, is also going to be used on Extinction whenever I get to work on Extinction. So I can just throw this into the Pillar of Autumn and call it a day. All right, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to put Skaboodly first. I just heard the sound and I didn't hear it for yours, that's my bad. Uh, Darksteel, thank you very much for your fiber, though, I appreciate it. Pray for my laptop. I managed to fake assault on the control room ceiling fog, but it is also killing the lighting process and my laptop is dying. Oh God, good luck. I literally let this run overnight for medium lighting. I, admittedly, it probably only took like three hours at the most, but still. Yeah, whenever I do super light, like super quality lighting on this, that's literally what it's called. It's gonna be rough. It is. It's no. There's no two ways about it. It is. It is gonna be rough. <sighs> da Ender was actually gonna release another map pack, but never did. Really? I would have loved to see it. I love Ender's style of map. By the way, I have a way to pathfind air vehicles for forge maps. I could pathfind it for you. I mean, I know how to pathfind forge air vehicles. You just place down like a new vehicle area and then you make them rise off the ground by having like a air offset. When I completed Light Master Hoth, it took seven hours. Oh my God, yeah, that's so bad. My one hope, okay, somebody did this for Halo CE and I hope they do it for Halo 3, but I really am just praying that somebody makes an improved light baking process for Halo 3. Because realistically, it's using this old as fuck light mapping process that sucks ass. Like, I, I light baked even in just Halo Reach, and it took, like, I literally did it on stream in, like, five to ten minutes for a massive scale map. And it was good. It was good quality lighting. Halo 3's light baking process is just cursed and ancient. If somebody, Reach has a shiny new system. I know, it's so good, man. It's so good. Whatever, though. It'll get better eventually. 
or it won't. I'll just put up with it. I'll buy like five PCs and interlink them and I'll be like, oh, I can finally light bake in a reasonable amount of time. Anyway, anyway, um, I was working on, oh yeah, the drone. Let me, let me import the new version of the drone real quick. So this is, let me grab the folder for it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. One second, let me grab the folders. Okay. So I take the drone, make sure they're good. They are drone files. I open up tool. I go into data, objects, vehicles, drone alpha, and I slap those in there. And all I need is the render model, which is tool, render, objects, ooh, vehicles, drone, alpha, final. And that will bring it in. And look at that, secondary triggers in, which means finally there will be effects and stuff for when I fire the missiles. Also, also, that means if I open up the vehicle, I can set it to actually use the secondary trigger. Rejected avoids non-H3 like a plague, to be honest. Listen, I just have a hyper fixation on Halo 3 because this is, Halo 3 is my Halo game. I love Reach too, don't get me wrong. I modded exclusively Reach for over a year, but I have projects in Halo 3 that I'm very, very hooked on. Oh, it imported. Is it just weird? Does it look brighter now? Oh wait, there's something I want to do to this in Blender that's bothering me. Even though it's not done, my little landing gear um, needs its own region. Ah, I don't want to do face maps. I lied, I'm not going to fix it. I was going to make it so the landing gear wasn't like pitch black. No. Hi kitty cat. I was going to make it so it's not pitch black, but I'll just make proper landing gear and then we'll do it. Because it's going to be way too much effort to do right now for this shitty tier stuff. Alright, let's see. Do the missiles be working? Ooh, they do, but I don't want to fire two at once, because that literally just makes us a hornet. I want to make these cooler missiles as well, just using basic hornet missiles to me is kind of lame. Why is the landing gear a stick? Because I'm lazy and I didn't actually make good landing gear yet. I wanted to see if I could get it to work right, and I did, and now I can make it a wheel with like multiple spokes that animates like the longsword wheel. Charles, thank you for that fiver. What easter egg do you plan on adding for this? Because I have a suggestion, but I won't say right now. Well, I actually don't know what easter egg I want to add for this map yet, but I know I will have one. Something. Something for sure. Do you think can uh, mod get a mention? People say there's not enough reach modding. Uh, sure? Yeah. Uh... Oh, wait, what the fuck? I go at the same speed as my missiles. Yeah, those definitely need an improvement. Uh, yeah, you, you, uh, have a cool mod in Reach. You got a dope, you remade my OG mod, like, a lot better than mine, because obviously I was shit at modding back when I made mine, but yours is a remake of my old, old mod, and it looks good. It looks good, good. Joe, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. Charles is legit going to say a lawnmower with his name on it. <laughs> is that true, Charles? Is this true? Are you just trying to get your name on the map? Is that what's happening here? Expose yourself. You won't. Add a pick of your ass on the map. Oh, this map will get have to. It'll have a M rating with nudity on it if I do that. Just like Halo 2 Vista. Okay, the lighting on here is way too bright, and it's bothering the fuck out of me. Why do it be doing this? The hangar 01 is set to... I'm just going to give it a name. I'm literally just going to name it uh, Red Base 2. No, yeah, Red Base 2. And this is going to be Red Base 1. And then Huge Grass uses Red Base 1. What is this? Ray Trace adjacent... Yeah, well, light maps use... Six, uh, I don't know what any of those do, but I don't think that fixed my problem. I don't know if that's actually fixable. I was hoping that by using like some kind of other skybox that's really not bright at all, that it would fix it, but it doesn't look like it did. Unless, unless I use the wrong skybox. Still pretty bright. 
There's one more skybox I can think of that theoretically will look good and be very dim. Which is uh Voy? What about Flood Voy? I bet Flood Voy's sky looks good. Nope, still very bright. Well, I gave it a shot. I tried. Did you see the Act Man is playing Halo 5 right now? Yeah, I saw on Twitter. Best of luck to him. He's going back to see if Halo 5 is any good. He wants to know. Hey, Rejected, I'm almost done making huge ass art. Oh shit. Well, I'm excited to see it. I also made the huge ass art. Oh wait, there's something I want to test, okay? I, I, I tested this and it worked pretty good a little bit ago. But basically, if you're in Sapien, don't mind that the grass is patchy right now, but if you look in this dark part of the map, uh, the grass is like really bright, which it's not supposed to be. So I'm gonna open up Halo 3's uh, standalone tag test real quick. And I wanna see if the lighting actually looks good because I baked it and I grass on rock. Hey, we don't talk about it, okay? Is this not finished? I swear it'll, it'll look good. His ass is going to project out vomit from how ass the story is. Yeah, listen, Halo 5 story. Something else. All I'm saying, though, is if he goes into multiplayer and he plays, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, if he plays Breakout, he's going to be like, damn, this game's pretty fun, actually. What the hell? All right, here we go, everybody. You love to see it. You love to see it. We're in the standalone Halo 3 tag test, which means, yes... The menus work. Although they don't like work work. But god, it takes me back. Like, oh, let's play Forge real quick. We're gonna switch to Xbox Live, open it to my friends. God, I miss this. Oh, it crashes if we try to select campaign missions. Okay, well. It was a worthwhile effort. Oh. You need to do game start, sir. I know how tag test works. I was just I was just given into the nostalgia a little. Game multiplayer forge or sandbox. Game start levels multi huge as remastered. Okay. I thought you were trying to load through the menu. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I at least use tag test every once in a while. I can at least load maps in it. Give my cat some love. You ever get into the Legend of Zelda series? Not really. I did play Breath of the Wild briefly, but that was because somebody showed me how to get it working on an emulator. But I do have a switch that I never use, so I could you I could technically play it one of these days. Alright, we are in the game now properly. This is Forge, so I could turn it into a monitor, but I'm not going to because it does this weird thing where it puts a debug screen on that I can't put away. By the way, the pathfinding I mean is if you're placeable AI enter air vehicles, then use air pathfinding using objectives and volumes. You know, I'm not actually any good at objectives, so I, I truly do not know how that all works. Why is my nose so itchy today? This is a video of Dia Ender's unreleased video. And, okay, I'll check it out. Okay, oh, the lighting still does the weird thing in here, but I guess that's okay. Alright, let's see. I can't boost, which is kind of lame because the controls are weird, but let's see if the grass looks good. Does the grass look good? The grass should render at a reasonable distance as I get close to the ground. Yeah, I can see the grass slowly loading in, which is nice, pretty optimized. Got a good fade to it. Let's see, I go to the dark areas, and yeah, light baking takes the grass into account. You love it. Gotta love it. Well, shit, man. That wasn't supposed to happen, but the grass does look good. Sheesh. Right, decorator is literally only a sapien thing. I have no idea. I know it's so weird. 
Wait, my teleporter doesn't work anymore. Hello? Did I not set this one up right? It was working earlier. I have to go investigate this now. I got to investigate. Let's see. Why do the teleporter not be working? I'm in sandbox. OMG playable pelican. Yes, indeed. It's very cool. Did I, I deleted it. Well, that would explain a lot. I don't remember deleting it, though. Serves you right. I do like this building though. This is definitely a, a good addition to the map. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't remember deleting it. Okay. Oh, that's a good view right there. Driving the golden warthog in a massive canyon with a destroyed pelican just floating there. All right, off the ramp. I'm going straight in. I love that there's a ramp on top of those. That is awesome. Ignore the floating grass. It's a feature. What is that from? It's from the Ark. Uh, it's right. Uh, it's the structure right next to the Scarab Arena. Halo 3 tag test can split screen without lag on a good PC. Wait, really? That's sick. You have to deal with tag test BS though, like loading times and like green loading screens and stuff. But still, that's pretty cool. I've literally never went in there. Yeah, it's a nice little structure, for sure. It, it honestly worked out perfectly for what I wanted to do here on this map. Damn, it takes a minute to drive across this map, huh? Port the explosion effects from H2A and port them to Halo 3. Uh, you know, uh, I was taking a look at some of the explosion effects and stuff from Halo Wars 2. And Green and I were considering porting some of those because they look really good. But check this out, right? Where are you going to put flags and stuff? The answer is right here. This is where I'm going to put the red base, or I guess this would be blue base, but I'm going to put the blue base... Can I shoot through this thing? I'll have to fix that. But anyway, yeah, blue base flag will go, like, right here. Um, and so you'll have to, like, come up to this, grab that, and then dip real quick. I thought you could add a Bumblebee life pod crash site throughout the map. That'd be cool. Uh, probably do crashed pelicans. I suppose I could do the Bumblebee. L plus no collision. Listen, man, it's hard to make big map. Each, each one of these little structure bases has their own little portal cubes. The fuck that building looks like? Well, right? And it's a little bit of a piece of instance geometry, too. Which means the entire structure exists and I didn't have to, like, rip it out or anything. Add some smaller foreigner structure with vehicles or weapon checkpoints. Well, I for sure wanted to add one at least to the middle of the map. Because the middle of the map deserves to have, like, a, at least for neutral game modes, there needs to be some kind of structures here. Because there's a big open area. Where, like, there's, like, one tree here, which I can just remove. And this will be, like, a big open area. Because there's like a big forest over there, there's a big forest over there, but this is a big open area. And right here next to the lake is the direct center of the map. So I'm like, okay, I want to add some kind of structures here. And then maybe like some vehicles could spawn here. Because like you get stuck in the middle, you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants to get stuck in the middle. And then maybe some stuff on the sides of the map occasionally too. Maybe like on each side of the map there's like two little checkpoints. That way if you get lost or something, I could put like structures in the mountain or something and that'll help. But I don't want to go too, too crazy, but at least something in the middle, and ideally I would add some stuff over there. Joe the Assassin, thank you so much for the fiver. Appreciate it. Why the funk does that Trinity Map Pack video mean yeah, from DA Ender go so hard, though? Wish it was actually released. Okay, I'm going to have to check that out now. I'm literally going to watch it right now. Shiro, thank you very much for the two. I appreciate it. 
Yo, it's my favorite mod man. It's good to see you, Shiro. I, I feel like it's been a minute. Glad you're here. Okay, let's see. Somebody did put this video in media. I'm loading. I'm loading. Discord is so laggy when I'm streaming. Alright. Trinity map pack. Wait, Ender's the one that did the Reach big ass? The Reach style of big ass? Alright, let's see. This is Trinity map pack trailer. Okay, they got the big Halo 2 gun in there. Nice. Good Halo 2 style foreigner geometry. From DA Ender. Ooh, they got a saber. Nice. Creator of Hot I love Hot Zone. Contributor to Downflow. Creator of Extinction, baby! They got the elephant working? Oh shit! That's so cool. They did a great job with these vehicles. Oh my god. Human versus government. Oh, there's that old Halo 2 Scarab tag. What is that thing? Is that a cloaked wraith? Oh, fuck. No way, they still have the mythos. Oh, you gotta love it. Dude, these maps look great! What the fuck? Dude, Ender did not fall off. Ender did not fall off. He kept going strong. What the fuck? That's so cool. Did you notice that the elephant was faster? Thank you for that fiver, demon. And yes, I did. That was sick. Okay, let me read some of these super chats as well, because I am... Um, where is it? Ba -ba -ba -ba, Streamlabs. Thank you, Anthony LaMonica. No shot, Anthony. Thank you for reopening for nine months with that red badge. Appreciate it. But how long for an elephant to cross the crater? That's a good question. We'll have to answer it live on stream right now. Demon with another fiver, though. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Halo 2 Scarab protecting a base in the middle. Make it happen, Magic Man. You know, a Halo 2 Scarab on this map would work reasonably well, actually. Huh. That is not a bad idea, you know, you're, you're a real smart dude, you know that? That's a great idea, I love the Halo 2 Scarab, it's crazy. Charles with another tenor, holy fuck, thank you very much, that's very generous. That's two fibers, what the fuck? Appreciate it though, uh, or what would be a cool easter egg is a red warthog in the style of a train with Charles on the side. It's fine if you don't want to, it would just be very cool for me. Yes, I'm sure it would, all, I'm sure it would be very cool for me to literally put you in the map. I'm... I would wager that that would be cool for you. I, I'm not going to doubt for a second that that would be cool for you. Real 3D grass without alpha blend is better than planes with alpha blended maps. Listen, man, I don't, I don't have fucking Unreal Engine 5 technology here, okay? I'm afraid to say that all I get are planes with texture. Here's what you do. Drive an elephant across the map and increase the game speed. Then put the video editor, slow it down. Oh my god, big brain. People will think I actually went through with it. I'll just tell them it was a really laggy bit of footage. Holy shit, you're so smart for that. Here, let's try it. Let's try it right now. Guys, I'm about to show you a video, okay? This, this took me a long time to do, but I just want you to see this because, you know, it, it, it took me so long. To, uh, to, to, <clears throat> excuse me, it took me so long to, to do this. It, it really was quite the process, but I decided, you know, like, why not, right? We, we need to know how long it takes to get an elephant across the map, and, um, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because for the sake of everyone here, we need to see what it's like. What you're seeing right now is not actually me playing. This is uh, this is footage from uh, from earlier here, and I, as you can see, I it took me hours, days even, to drive across the map. But from the footage you can see here, I I did eventually do it. 
and it was worth it. I did it for you guys, right? It was all for you. Demon, thank you so much for that fiver. Appreciate it. Charles, if you ain't putting my name on anything, he ain't doing it for you. Let's be real. Ah! Ah! Help! Ah! <laughs> well, let me out. Let me out, please. Oh. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't... I'm sorry. I didn't put any of, like, the crazy supporters. I didn't do, like, the custom logos and stuff for Ultimate Forge. I was so... I was going to put, like, the banners on the buildings, at least. But I was so caught up with trying to release the mod and just be done with it for... That I eventually just released it with, like... Without completely finishing it. Ow. Yeah, as you can see, it took me forever, but I did it. I was going to put, like, little... Because, like, the ODST buildings had these little banners on them. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why did I just slide down that hill so much? There you go, from one side of the map to the other. Whatever you just witnessed, multiply it by 10. That's how long it takes. Add a zero to the amount of seconds that took. Or minutes. What is this song? Eagle team versus Cobra team. It would be nice to get that classic stuff back. Hold on. I'm going to make myself some more coffee super fast. So enjoy the view out of the hangar of huge grass. I will be right back. Oh, All right. <clears throat> the map do be looking good, and I'm having a lot of fun literally just playing around on it. I'm afraid to say a lot of what I've been doing today is just playing around, because uh, it's really fun. This map is a lot of fun to just dick around on. But that's a problem, because I need to be getting some work done. So, uh, I'm going to have to do that. So, first things first, I, I'm trying to think of structures right now that would be good to put on either side of the map here. One thing I'm considering is, let me open up huge sand really quickly. I, I have structures on huge sand that I think would be good. This is my old, old, the RKI war map. Um, that was originally based on huge ass. A rejected, I think you're muted, not gonna lie for real, for real. Yeah, you know what, you're right actually, you're actually totally right. It's me rejected shotgun on a second account. Yeah, it's actually true, Ray is uh, actually my secret alt account. Huge sand. I know, original, incredible name, really, as something special. Crow's Nest Cave? Crow's Nest Cave. It would be cool to put a little cave in the map. That would be neat. This is going to take a minute to load. Although, it does sound like my coffee just finished brewing, so hold on just a sec and we'll check it out.
All right. This is the OG map. I guess you could say that I did a lot better work on the new Huge Sand, than, or the new Huge Ass remake, than this one. But it's still cool nonetheless. It's got the same little concept of like the structures covered in sand, which is why I use these, because I, I did this a while ago. It's got the crappy canyon with no top to any of the mountains. But these structures is what I was thinking about, actually. I thought these were pretty cool. Something like these. Maybe not these exact structures, because there's quite a few of them that look similar all around Halo 3. Um, and I was just thinking, if I put something similar to this, and I kind of put it a little bit lower, I could have stuff on the ground around it um, that kind of makes it a point of interest. And if I just do the same thing where there's one, two, three, and then four of them, that it would look pretty good. Little points of interest would be nice. It's funny too, I made Arc AI War, and I made it so that like I just was doing AI tests, and then I released the mod. People really want me to put this mod out, but what they don't realize is that this map was originally the very first map I ever made, and I made it before Halo 3's mod tools came out in Blender. And literally, it was a huge ass test. That's why there's bases on either side, because it was originally going to be a multiplayer map, but it would have been insanely boring. But now it's just a giant AI war map where, whenever I run scripts anyway, the AI spawn out. Ooh, that's a good looking scarab right there. Damn. Is that, is that the custom scarab? Sheesh! Look at him go. The scarab's not moving, but he could. It would be nice to work on this custom scarab again. It looks pretty decent. Could be good, could be good. Could definitely use some work though. It's got some funny looking shading on the top. Anyway, I want to add those structures to the new huge ass. So I'm going to load huge ass back up. Huge grass, excuse me. Yeah, but it's not 200k verts. It could be. It could be. Ah, coffee. It really brings life. To my day. Ah. I am filled with warmth. Oh, yeah, this map's a lot better. Girl, don't eat plastic. No, stop eating plastic, you creature. Not for eating. Garbage. No. It's okay. Oh. Look at my cat. She's so adorable. You want to go on my desk? Is that it? Are you going to hit all my keys on my keyboard now? Yeah, is that it? Is that what you want to do? Just play games for me? You want to you wanna carry the stream? I'm sure you would carry my stream. I think the people would rather watch a tiny adorable cat than they would me. A rather adequate amount of grass. Hmm. Like the Discord profile better of it? Yeah, agreed. I actually have the full picture of that. I saw it on my desktop the other day because I cleaned my desktop up and I was like, what is this random image on my desktop? And wouldn't you believe it, it was the full version of my cat picture here, let me find it. Uh, here, this is my profile picture, but it's my whole ass cat. It's my old gaming chair, my PC, my VR headset, but most importantly, the best damn picture that's ever been taken of my cat. Holy shit, I love it so much. So tiny. She's a little bit bigger than this now, but she's not gonna grow too much more, I don't think. Meow. Found you. Yeah. Can't get me. I got you. I know she's so precious. I love her. Build the contest that pick is right after she ate your video cable. <laughs> I don't remember. That was on my my best friend came over and she literally just like snapped a picture and was like, no way. And I was like, what? She just showed me it. And I was just like, that is literally the best picture. Show cat on stream. Girl, come here. I know you want attention anyway. I can see you're in the mood. Oh, I'm trying to run away, are you? 
Hey. Mm. She's still pretty small for a cat anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I do, I, I would be 100% one of those game devs where they put a picture of their cat in the game. This is what she does all day. She literally goes on to my, like, the rest on my, my chair. She just sits there and poses. That's my arm? You're licking my arm? <laughs> I don't know. She does her. She just does things. She just do be doing things. Green is secretly rejected as cat. Hey, you don't know that for sure, all right? I'm just saying there's not any evidence of that, okay? So that you would just make that accusation wildly that my cat is actually Green Knight. That's actually insane, first of all. And there's no evidence of that whatsoever. So don't even just start just throwing ideas like that out there, okay? You buy a new chair? I was gifted for Christmas. It's like the nicest Christmas gift ever. <laughs> Screams at you when you feed her. Giant cat A. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Big ol' cat. Big ol' huge, enormous cat. As an AI. My cat is doing things to my microphone and I'm not sure what she's doing. Hey. Yeah, I kiss you. I keep saying it, put Godzilla in. I know, I actually want to. I love Godzilla. Dude, I because I, I have VR chat, I have a bunch of rigs of Godzilla characters. I won't lie. This is going to sound so childish, but I don't care. Because I'm one of these people where my childhood is important to me. Because I will, I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to go into detail. But uh, my childhood had some rough patches, so the escapism of my childhood is important to me. And that includes things like Halo, Godzilla, and all kinds of other stuff that I did when I was a kid. So one of my favorite things about VR chat that I've done many times over the years, every time a new Godzilla rig comes out, I will rig Godzilla up to work as a humanoid. I will go into VR chat and I'll get some cool videos of myself, like getting like cool scenes like from down below or to the side. Where like I'll be as Godzilla, like like mo capping, and I'll like have atomic breath animations and stuff set up. So I just hit a button on my controller, and the spikes will charge up, and like like the atomic breath comes firing out. If I can find it, I actually have an old video when the Godzilla vs Kong came out. I had one with a Mecha Godzilla that looked really cool. Let me, you know what? Let me find it. I bet I can find it. It's somewhere on my Reddit account. I'm pretty sure, and it's literally just a clip of me. In my Mecha Godzilla avatar, can I search my? Can I search like that? Oh wait, that's not my Reddit account. Let me go there. Oh, I can't search that. I'd have to like go through way to my Reddit history, so I'm not gonna go through that right now. But yeah. I, I have it. It's really cool. It, it, I spent somebody like hand modeled an optimized version of Mecha Godzilla, and I like added the sound effects, and like I spent forever on the particles on the beam, and it looked really fucking cool. It, I was saying it'd be hilarious if you dropped a Godzilla model in there, and the lore accurate scale and it still looks small on the map. I'm trying to think how tall Godzilla 2014 height. Godzilla 2014 is 355 feet, which is 108 meters tall. Which means, I think, I don't really have a good scale, but I think he would definitely be up to the hangar, at least around the hangar height. He would be pretty large, even on this map. Because I think one world unit in, um, in Halo would be like a meter? No, I think one world unit might be bigger than a meter. But if a meter is slightly smaller than a world unit in the Halo engine, then based off my estimations, Godzilla would be either slightly shorter or up to the hangar height. Drivable Godzilla mod. Don't tempt me, dude. Don't tempt me. I would. I legitimately would. Oh, 
Oh wait, is that just default shadowing? Is that what that's been? Can't really tell. Huh. One Halo World is about ten feet, I think. Wait, really? So he would only be thirty-five and a half world units tall. That's still really big. Don't get me wrong, but he'd probably be up to like at least halfway there. No, yeah, he'd probably be. I have a strong suspicion that he'd be near hangar height then. One unit is a forge world, one by one cube. Yeah. Okay. So at. Those cubes are big enough to hold a warthog. We go to Discord supporter chat. I made your new profile picture. Huh? <laughs> no, they're not as clean as my current one. They're not, they're too blurry. I like them though. Those are good pictures. Those are really good pictures. Could even illuminate the spine when firing. Trust me, I know. I have illumination maps and everything for the spines. I, I have like a bunch of cool shit for it. But thank you, Burgle. I appreciate it. Those are good pictures. Oh, that's so cool. I One of these days, dude, one of these days, I'll make a Godzilla mod. You know, one thing I've wanted to do for a while, too, is make, like, a horror mod in Halo that's, like, not necessarily Halo, but dark corridors, dark corridors, hallways. Like, you're a Marine or an ODST, super spooky, scary monsters coming after you, amnesia style. Okay, the coffee's going right through me. Uh, I see your super chat, Charles, what did you say? Thank you for that fiver, by the way. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate. Fun fact, a CSO supercarrier is bigger than a neutron star at 28.9 kilometers. Oh, yeah, because neutron stars are hyper-compressed. They're only 20 kilometers. Neutron stars, I wonder if they could be bigger. Probably not. That's cool, though. Cloverfield, literally Cloverfield. Putting that out there, that's crazy. I guess a, a CSO could never get close enough to a neutron star and not get shredded, so you'd never really be seeing them side by side, but that is interesting. I would assume those black holes are also quite a bit smaller. Unless you're starting to count in like some super massive ones. But yeah, okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. And then uh, when I return, more work we do be done with.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. What's going on? Alrighty. Uh, so, a couple of things to work on today. We did get uh, some slight improvements to the Wombat, which is nice. I'm very, very excited about that. Look at those wings. They're so much smoother. You really can't tell now, but trust me, they're smoother. The way that cockpit shines. God damn. Wash your hands. Did you... What part of how long I was gone made you think I didn't wash my hands? Also, for those people who have said that they believe the wombat, the combat wombat is too slow. Wash your ass. Okay, that's true. Oh, I, I, I didn't specifically wash it. I didn't jump in the shower and wash it, I will admit. The Wombat's going to be really cool to see come flying by. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to improve the missiles on the Wombat, because those are lame. Those are real lame. How about, instead of just firing regular Hornet missiles, I'll keep the same starting missile type, but we're going to edit them, alright? We're going to edit these missiles to look cooler. Because right now they're basic Hornet missiles, and that's pretty lame. That is pretty, pretty lame. The trails, yeah, not bad, eh? Alright, so the secondary barrel is what fires the missiles. And we're going to need to get these Hornet missiles set up in the drone folder. Weapon, and this is drone missile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them have the same damage and stuff as the Hornet Missile for the time being, because I don't feel like the Hornet Missiles are overpowered by any means. Demon, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Okay, whatever happened to the Missile Pod Pelican? Yeah, I don't know. I just haven't decided to work on it in a while. I have been tempted, like I've said many times recently, like, eh, I don't know if I like the Chin Gun Pelican, because it's kind of annoying to fight a giant vehicle that uses, um, like, hit scan. But... Yeah, I just I haven't thought about it in a little while. I haven't thought about like uh, working on it in a little while, I should say. The main reason I don't do the Missile Pod Pelican is because... How do I explain it without just spawning in a whole ass Pelican? When you do the Missile Pod Pelican, the Missile Pods are disconnected from the wings and they like clip through it and it looks really weird. That's just how it's done in Halo 3. And when I did assign them to the wings, it makes the missiles come out like... If, my, if I'm like rotating and my wings are like this, that means the missiles come out going like this. And they're really weird looking. And there's actually not a great way to fix that. Well, okay, that's a lie. I, I just thought up a way to fix it now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, damn. Um the uh Charles with the two dollar super chat, thank you very much. The Hornet missiles are slow and lame. This is true and real. Hey, what did Skabooly say? I'm pivoting back to the sparrowhawk. <gasps> I pulled some strings, and long story short, I can create the most canonically accurate Sparrowhawk ever. Yo, no shot. You know those horribly low-res screenshots of the promotional renders of the Hawk? Yeah. Oh, I see. Really? You have that. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you do actually commit to this project, ain't nobody making a better Sparrowhawk. Holy shit. That's going to be wild. Alright, here's what I'm going to do for these. Okay, Skaboodly, any updates you have on that? I would love I'd love to be kept in the loop. That sounds fucking awesome. Is there a way? I wish I could give these things gravity for like just a split second. Or like just maybe I can actually. Whatever. I'm gonna make it so the initial velocity when this thing fires. Where is that? There's there's fields for this. Okay, yeah. The initial velocity is 10, and the final velocity should be like 25. Let's see what that does. Oh wait, how long does it take to warm up? Acceleration is three to twenty world units. No, we're gonna make that 
seven world units fixed. So let's see, how does that look? What the fuck? Oh, okay, let's see how this feels. Oh, I gotta refresh. All right, combat, wombat, let's see. Missiles should probably be even faster than that, if I'm being real. Because they're still too slow. And their maximum range is too low as well. Maximum range is how far it goes before it explodes. I'm just going to make it 500 world units and call it a day. That's not going to cover the whole map, but that's a large part of the map. Charles, thank you very much for the two. Appreciate it. Here is my last super chat. Well, thank you for super chatting. I appreciate you enjoying the stream more enough to, um, to actually go ahead and super chat. That is very kind of you. I appreciate it very much. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Final. All right. Initial velocity is 10. Final velocity is 45. World units that it takes for that to occur should be. Let's double that to 14. So it'll seem really slow at first, and then it'll just like go flying super quick. How does that look and feel? Okay, that's too many world units, but cool nonetheless. Seven world units, initial velocity should be... Okay, wait, 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 I have a cool idea. Watch this. Still too many units. Initial velocity should be like th three. All right, let's see what this looks like. So I drop them. I think I was zooming up. Still not a huge fan. Is that too fast, I wonder? Can I stagger the missiles? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I'm not actually sure if I could. Let's try zero to 10 world units, actually. That should make the acceleration a little bit more subtle. What if I make the initial velocity like really low, like one world unit? That looks cool, I will say. It definitely feels better. That's an improvement for sure. But the missiles don't feel and look right, if I'm honest. Can I do tricks? You can, yeah. But uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it to do tricks because it's a very weighty vehicle that's very large. And uh, if I try to do a backwards flip, it does that. I can, I just, it's too weighty to do a full flip. Right when I asked it popped up. Oh, I thought you asked because it popped up. I do want to make better landing gear. Maybe I'll do that today. It'd be fun. I haven't opened Substance Painter on stream in a while. These things are so cool. These are a great lore-friendly replacement to the Jets, and I'm so, I could not be happier with this.
Real question, do I give these things gravity? What does it look like with gravity? Not great. It makes them kind of useless. Okay, no gravity. Is there a way to just delete the backflip? Not that I'm aware of, at least not in Halo 3. I know you can do it in Reach because the, they changed the system for how tricks and Banshee tricks work in Halo Reach. So I think you have to just choose all tricks or no tricks in Halo 3. Ow, ow. I like the heat waves, yeah, they look sick. Killing. Oh, I jumped at the last second and it actually worked. The scuffed backflip is a legitimate fighter maneuver. IRL called the Pugachev's Cobra. Really? I genuinely would not have suspected that. I am pretty curious to see what this looks like taking off from like the side. This is a pretty good looking vehicle. The landing gear sucks ass, but you know, we don't talk about that. Oh wait, I know what to do, hold on. The rockets do need a little more oomph, but how much more, right? Because they, I do want them to be weak missiles. I don't want this thing to be super powerful, but I also don't want it to be too weak. Like, it's still a fighter. It should still do decent damage. There it goes. Look how fast that thing is. Like, once you get in this thing, you're zooming. Is it possible to make an ejector seat? It is, but it would eject you every single time. That's the only downside to it. Charles, thank you very much for the two. Appreciate you. This is my last super chat. Now my wallet is empty. Empty? What about you gotta eat food? Don't super chat me your last dollars. But thank you very much. Alright, boost! Afterburners on. Those trails look nice. They do, they do. Con trails. They're nice. Boost! What's the HP on this thing? Will Spartan Laser take it down? I'm gonna make it pretty weak. This is gonna be, um, as far as these flying vehicles go, this thing's not gonna have very much health. It'll probably have the equivalent health of like a Warthog. So maybe like slightly more than a Warthog. So yeah, Spartan Laser will take it down. If you, if you land a Spartan Laser shot, this thing is dead. I, we have enough beefy, large-scale vehicles already. This is all gonna be like a super speedy fighter that gets taken down pretty quickly. Make it weak, but very hard to hit. Exactly. It's super fast. You're gonna have to be like... It's gonna not gonna be easy. If this thing flies over while boosting, and you're like in the center of the map right here or something, you're gonna have to wait for it to slow down in order to actually deal some damage to it, because it is gonna be zooming. I feel like it may need more speed, trust me. I, I know why you might think that, but this map is enormous and it gives the illusion that this thing is slow. Trust me when I say it is really fast. You just have to take my word for it until you get it in game. Like that thing is gone in a moment. You're just sitting on the ground and then all of a sudden this thing comes flying by. Looks so good flying around, doesn't it? Oh, I really like it. The 
and this is its regular speed, and then boost. Oh, it's so good. I really like how this vehicle's turned out so far. Is it possible to make custom tricks or modify them? Not in Halo 3, but once again in Reach you can. Plan on doing different damage states like the Pelican? Yes. And I'm going to keep the damage states relatively simple on this. My idea for how I'm going to split up the damage states right now is like this. Oh, too fast. So basically, you've got uh, cockpit and middle, like the whole middle of this is going to be a single region. And then the, each wing is going to be a separate region, but the wing is also going to include these little like thruster jets. And it's going to be relatively basic where the you go like down the center, damage, wing, damage, wing, damage. And then there's going to be two states for each where each one can get damaged to the point where it's like mangled with some sparks and stuff. And then there's like a fully destroyed state, which it can get to just by taking damage. But when it blows up, all three sections will go to that destroyed state, along with like fire and stuff in addition to it. So basically split it into three. And for each of these three sections, I'll make two more states. Keep the barrel roll. Yeah, the barrel roll does look sick. I'm, I'm actually tempted to keep in the broken trick like this just because these are fun. So maybe people will learn that this one doesn't work and they just won't use it. Keep the. I mean, look, realistically, if there was a vehicle that could do Banshee tricks other than the Banshees, it would be this vehicle. Just got here, what did I miss? We're just messing around and improving the uh, Wombat. Whoa. Incoming! How is anything anti-air supposed to hit that? While it's boosting, chances are you're not. But when it slows down to fire, it is wide open. This thing really handles like a drain. Could use a custom HUD though. Using the Hornet HUD's not bad, but it would look better if it had its own reticle. Maybe I'll design that today. We could we could go through and try to design a, a reticle for this. 117 minutes in, true, true. Oh wait, let me put the teleporters down for both bases before I forget, because I want to jump into the forge mode again with um, the whatchamacallit. Oh wait, there is a teleporter down here. How did it get erased? Hello? This is red base one, and then red base two is, what? Is it set to not spawn automatically? The team owner neutral, it spawns on all game modes. Weird. Huh. Okay, well, I'll go add blue base teleporters while I'm here. Also, I think one thing I'm going to do for these bases, uh, obviously there isn't really any purpose to this hallway back here. This is just a leftover from the Halo 1 mission I pulled this from. I don't know if I want to just erase it completely or put like a teleporter wall back here or something, because as of right now, there's not really much of a purpose here. You just, it's like, oh, there's a hallway, I guess. Zach Rare, thank you very much for the two. Appreciate it. What if the half backflip dropped a small bomb? I don't think I could do that till Reach still because the uh, tricks aren't very versatile, unfortunately. Teleport to the bottom of the base? Well, the way I have it right now, anyway, 
is uh, you place one of these. There's a teleporter just like this. So I think I might just remove the ramp going upwards and just keep it a slightly inset like this. And then it just closes right here. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Just kind of close it off, leave it like slightly open and just put teleporters. And I think I'm gonna need some better teleporters than just the Halo 3 ones. So I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna be making um, more interesting, more visually interesting teleporters than just these. That said, I'm gonna put this here on channel. What teleporter channel do I want this on? Owner team neutral channel Bravo. This one will be named. Where is the name? Where is the name? Blue. Okay, I'm trying to type a name. Blue base one. Okay, so this is now blue base one. And then I will go down below to around here. And right here will be uh, blue base two. And it should be on the same teleporter channel already as well. Let's see. Yeah, Bravo. Okay, so that should work. I'm going to open up the um, standalone Halo 3 tag test. And that should work. Aesthetic. Yeah. Can you check DMs real quick? I sent a thing. Uh, yeah, what's, uh, what's going on in DMs? Oh, you did like objectives and stuff and, uh, for flying vehicles in, in Halo 3. Did you test that online, by the way? I feel like it's really important to make sure that works online. Because I don't actually know if it would work online. Game multiplayer sandbox, game start levels, multi, huge ass remastered, huge ass remastered. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo, Xerxes tipped $5. Thank you so much, Xerxes. Appreciate it. Nobody ever uses the tip jar. Just kidding. We hit the tip goal today. That's that's cap. But thank you very much. Hey, we're at 117. Or 117. Why did I say 117? <laughs> thank you, though. Uh, what if at the end of that hallway you have a large elevator or two constantly going up and down connected to a ground vehicle bay down below? Now that is an interesting idea. Why wouldn't objective sync? Uh, just because in multiplayer, AI stuff doesn't sync very well most of the time. Like, you can't even have AI do melees. I had to cut those out of Ultimate Forge by just completely removing the AI function for it. I have no idea if they sync. They might sync. They, they honestly might. Okay. I can't boost in these, but they're still pretty fast. So is this a remade version of Huge Ass and CE? Exactly. But it's like remastered rather than remade because... Realistically, I, oh, sorry, I'm turned into a goblin in my chair. I'm gonna move my camera. Realistically, I did a lot of stuff to it that makes it like more of a remaster because it's like, it's not even close. Well, it's getting close to done, but there's like bases down here. Not that, that's a forge object, but there's like little bases here and trees and a lake and stuff. Um, what was that? I forget I was testing something and I don't remember what it was. Goal reached, absolutely. Hmm. They should sink. It's literally a zone. It's built in the scenario. Listen, I have no idea. AI just does not like the netcode very much. I'm just suggesting that you should ask somebody to help test it for you online because AI stuff uh, is better to test online than not to test and just hope. You'd be surprised what works, but also surprised at what doesn't work. Um, I complete. Oh, right, the teleporters. I almost forgot. All right, let's see if the teleporters work. They should. They don't work in Sapien for whatever reason, because the Sapien loads stuff as if you're in single player, which is why I always take fall damage and die. I can't boost, which is annoying. Oh, what did I just right clicked something? All right, we're good. You got an 85? Not bad, not bad. Congrats. Ah, oh, yeah, teleporter worked. I'm happy to hear that you did not fail. You actually fucking oh, not that I'm surprised. 
And now I've snuck into the enemy's base. They'll never see me coming. And these are not forgeable. Because they're, the, uh, they're built into the map. Wait, this is kind of up high. I'm going to have to raise the ground slightly. Or maybe lower the entire thing a little bit. Should be able to just easily walk up onto that. Not bad though, not bad. I do need some kind of vehicle. You know, I'm not sure what I should put around here. I'm very tempted to make this kind of like a garage where there's like some ground vehicles that are just ready to go at a moment's notice. Where like you could drive a warthog or like a scorpion out of this. I think that would be pretty cool. Wait, don't despawn, please, please don't despawn. I don't have a forge menu set up. I can't respawn you, please. Oh, that was a close one. All right, I need to make a base for the center of the map. It's so overdue. Do you mind sending me the AI spawner tag and the script so I can test the AI to sing properly? I, I can send you the script. It works in Halo 3, but the AI spawner tag is really messy and it's like specifically in the Ultimate Forge folder and it's like scattered across a bunch. So uh, I'll, I'll wait on sending that over because that's like, I'll have to figure out what's tied to what. I, I kind of made it messy. Why does this look wet? Ew. Evanator, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Check Discord. I sent you something. You sent me something. It better be an image, or else you could have just super chatted it. A YouTube video. Uh, I will watch that later. But thank you for the two. I appreciate it. I just don't want to watch a bunch of videos right now. Ah. Okay, uh, let's go back into Sapien, because now we know the teleporters and everything work. And I want to try testing out some, like, just do a little bit of testing with buildings. I do have some forge objects. I have some of the reach buildings from, um, from Ultimate Forge. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a bunch of those into the map right now. Those are in my levels, multi, Ultimate Forge folder. We have the Halo Reach. I'm gonna put all these in here. I think we already have base round, base strut. And I'm gonna add in the other ones that we don't have in here right now, such as Tower Tall. Tower, Room Triple, and I think that's everything right now. I didn't, well, I didn't actually add that much. All right, Room Triple. God, these are so small. This is like the biggest forge piece from Reach, and it's so tiny on this map. Here's a room triple. Here's a tower. Here's tower tall. This is sort of kind of what I was envisioning, but maybe with like a large structure here as well. What else can I put here? Base round, I suppose. Throw some of these down. Yeah, I love the mod tools when they do that. They just make windows noises for no reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so here's like a little test of like what a little village type thing I was imagining could look like. Not great, but theoretically you could come to the center of the map and it would be... Ideally it would be more condensed than this actually. I would do something like... I 
do a little bit more condensed. Like that, I suppose. Little foreigner village in the center of the map. You gotta fly on over to it. You're zooming. I, I'd actually probably put it a little closer to the lake. Looks like little settlements. Yeah, exactly. Then you'd come over here. And then either like in a central building or out in the open. While you have cover all around you in places where you can camp, defend, or attack. There would be a big open objective right here. Like maybe this is where the neutral flag or the neutral bomb would be. Can you play all of Shrek 2 on stream? Yeah, actually. Okay, let's quit the mod tools right now. We're going to go watch uh, Shrek 2. Let me get it set up real quick. It'll be really fun. No, I'm not going to watch Shrek 2 on stream. Territories? Oh, yeah, true. God, my nose is running. I'm not getting sick. One second. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm back. So I've just seriously dissed the greatest movie icon of all time. Hey, hey, I never said Shrek was a bad movie, okay? I just said I'm not going to watch it on stream. Okay, Test Village looks decent. But obviously I don't want it to be made of forge pieces. I want it to be like actual foreigner structures and ideally slightly larger ones. That being said, these do have really good layouts for combat because obviously they were designed for reach where you could have cool little combat pieces and they were quite literally pulled from different maps. So now that I'm thinking about it, I actually could use these pieces in the map as like pieces of instance geometry, place them down and let the lights bake into them. It's not a bad idea, all things considered. What do you guys think? Should I do that? It's kind of a smart move. I could just put the map pieces, like, actually in the map. Maybe not that one, that's a bit weird. These little bases are not bad. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, Puss in Boots was a great movie. The new one, I watched that not too long ago, and damn, I was pleasantly surprised by that being so good. Hmm. Now what forge or what foreigner structures from campaign can I quickly rip out and put into this? That's the real question here. Puss and Boost Last Witch was such a good movie. It it really took me by surprise. I went to see it as just like a like a fun one off and I was like, damn, like the animation was really good, the story was really good, the characters were good. I was like, what the fuck? I thought this was just like a I was like, I thought this was going to be like average as fuck, but it was actually really good. I liked it a lot. The pyramid that houses the control room. The control room. The control room. The pyramid? What pyramid houses the control room? I am not familiar with that. 120 Halo? Oh, you're talking about the giant pyramid that gets stuck into the wall. Oh. Yeah. Let me open that up real quick and see what that looks like. Let's go let's go load into that. See maybe maybe there's some cool stuff on the final mission I could use. Not gonna lie, I might just download the entire Puss in Boots 2 movie and post that shit in Discord. Well, Hey, not, not my Discord. I'll get in trouble for that if the copyright police come at me. I like the parts of the movie where Puss in Boots gets evicted from the spaceship because he was sus. Yeah, that was actually my favorite part of the movie. It really just evoked a great, great feeling. Hey, DM me the movie. Motherfuckers, if you can't find totally legal ways to watch your movies, totally legal, by the way. Like, it's the internet in 2023. How are you not able to just find movies if you're looking? It's so easy. I've been on the internet for years and years, and I have watched as sites have risen and fallen. Don't get me wrong, I still have a Netflix subscription and stuff, but... You no, know, sometimes shit's just not available. 
and watch it whenever I want. I'm just lazy. How? No, no, you're not just a lazy. You just don't have a go-to site. That's your problem. You need a go-to site. The not lazy thing to do would be to just go, oh, I'll just go to my go-to site and watch it real quick. Dummy. Oh, this is a cool structure. Look at that. Shame it's not instance geometry, though. What a shame. The good news, though. Holy shit. Oh, wait, there isn't actually that much good news here. It's kind of, like, merged with the, the map in certain places. Wait. How merged are we talking, though? Not completely merged, which is promising. Ah, oh, but it's there's enough of it cut off that it would be troublesome. Wait, up here, is this snow just added on, or is it part of it? There is structure behind the snow, so that's good. What's in here? Oh, neat, there's a little, little secret area. Hmm. Mirror it back to back? Oh, true. Oh, true, true. I could just mirror the side that has more geometry than the other. Ah, oh, the problem is neither side has complete geometry. Because on this side it cuts off right there. Well, actually, I don't need any of that geometry because I could just shove it like into the ground at the bottom part here. And call it a day. How long do I plan on streaming for? For at least another hour. Yeah, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I could work with this. It does cut off like around there, though. Ah, uh, I just, it's not complete enough as a structure for me to actually use it effectively because parts of the back part would be like missing. And then, like, it looks so good, though, man. I want to use this. It'd be so good. I think you can disassemble the environment and only see the rendered poops. But th this is like, this is also part of the map geo properly as well. That's really cool though. You know what I never noticed is these big towers that go up here. That looks super dope. Bro, if you're biting my cords, I bite you. Never forget. What about the avalanche structures? Ah, uh, they would be interesting. Definitely wouldn't be as cool as this though. These are, this is really cool. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll give it a shot, yeah? Why not, right? <laughs> Any good parts from the Warthog run I could use? I kind of doubt it, but I could load it up. Let's see. Most of the terrain here is like destroyed um, structures and things. Fun fact, by the way, I had no idea. Oh, I guess I can't really see it from here. But if you stitched all of the map together and had everything loaded all at once somehow, this entire area is Death Island from CE, or sorry, the Silent Cartographer. This is where you start the Warthog Run, right? You come out here. Actually, this is not where you start the Warthog Run. Where is this? Where the fuck is this? Is this? No, okay, it is. It is. You start the Warthog Run here. You drive out. And you start going. The circle thing? Yeah, no, I saw a screenshot of it recently and it blew my mind because 
literally nobody would ever notice that this is the whole ass warthog run but it is it literally is or sorry it's it's the silent cartographer island <laughs> it's really fucking cool or let me see if I can find the screenshot for it uh xerxes thank you so much for the three dollar tip appreciate it. oh you brought us to an even 120 with the 299 thank you for that i appreciate you how would you feel about using the ODST uh, uh, firefight map crater? Maybe reskin it to look like a UNSC base or a foreigner structure? I don't remember what crater looks like. No, that's later in the hog run. I don't know if there's a later zone set than this, to be honest with you. Can I load... Oh, God. Can I, should I even try to load all zone sets, or am I going to crash? Let's see. Can I load the entire map all at once? It's closer to the frigate? Oh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can load everything. The circle structure. <laughs> Alrighty, where are we at? Where are we at? Well, that's interesting. There's just a giant dark area. Oh, this is where another part of the map takes place. So you come through here, then you go through here, you wrap around, and then you're suddenly out. Oh, here it is. This is it. Okay, yeah, this is the Silent Cartographer Island right here. It even has the archway, which is so cool. The final part of the Warthog run. Look, they even modeled in the center canyon of it, which is so cool. There's one side of it's just completely unmodeled, but then you have this side, which is like, you can see the cliff, you go around here. Like, there would be a foreigner structure in the middle there, and then you have, like, the archway, and then you go through it. Like, that's so cool. Like, they literally, even though you never even see it and you can't go on this side of it, this is the center part of the island where, like, the hunters spawn, the dual, the dual hunters spawn. That's so cool. And it's like, who would notice that, right? That's such, like, an obscure thing that would be, like, so hard to notice. But yeah, there it is. Uh, Ray, thank you so much for the tip. One dollar, one cent. To honk, me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. It was just ripped from CE? Uh, possibly. I, I can't, I don't really know the terrain well enough to say for sure if it was. It does look relatively simple, but also it would, simultaneously it would be simple to recreate it for the Bungie devs. Like, obviously this section here is not just ripped. Like, they clearly you know, manually re-sculpted it and added rocks and stuff. Very, very cool, though. And I wish they modeled the foreigner structures. They could have just reused the balcony asset from the arc level for sure. Balcony asset, balcony asset. You know, that's another place I'm going to go check out in a moment is the arc. I'm going to see if there's any good foreigner structures in the arc I can yoink. I just want to say this, too. Nobody ever really gives it enough time of day, especially not myself, but the skybox on this map, dude. The destroyed halo, or sorry, not the destroyed, the exposed halo ring. Like, look at this. This is what, in Bungie's eyes, the inside of a halo ring looked like. Wait. It's so cool. Check the circle thing. What circle thing? This is the circle thing, isn't it? Looks really fucking cool. Like, I don't even know what half this stuff is, but apparently what's on the inside of a halo ring. You can see, like, terrain structures and stuff out in the sky. It's kind of floating on giant platforms that have, like, huge legs going down. Big underground forerunner tunnels that would probably go underneath. No, the structure on the map? Uh, structure on the map. I really, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta be more specific. Circle thing, structure on map? I don't know what that means. It's like slightly golden and round. Uh, yeah, that's really not helping. Like, where is it specifically? What does it look like? I, I don't know. I'm, this is a large area. Toward the beginning. 
the lid. Oh, this thing? Yeah, these are cool. I don't know, they're neat. Big circular areas for the Warthog run to get a little more exciting at. They're pretty dope. They're machine tags, actually. They're not uh, even part of the map geo. I've never really taken the time to look at the Warthog run like this, too. Pretty dope. Pretty, pretty cool. It's interesting that they sectioned it like this as well. Oh yeah, and then here's the beginning of the mission. It's so interesting that the mission takes place like... Oh, these parts of the map actually overlap, which is kind of funny. I wonder if they connect at all. There's like this foreigner wall here. And it connects to... This area here. Wow, yeah, so it's actually right over this cliff. Right over this cliff. Oh yeah, they don't exactly match up perfectly, but yeah, close enough. I never noticed the kid at the beginning of the mission. As a kid at the beginning of the mission is assault on the control room. Literally is. It's really cool. Throwback. Assault on the control room. Looks so much better in 3. Not that it looked bad in CE by any means, but the graphics, the graphics. Don't you just want to fly a Banshee up into it? Covenant might be another good place to look. Yeah, I've looked at the Covenant a decent amount of times, and there are some good structures on it. Um, I'll literally load it up right now. I will say, one of the things I do love about the mission, the Covenant, the entire map, if you load it up every BSP at the same time, the entire map works perfectly. The Covenant is literally one giant map. If you could just remove the invisible barriers and load every single BSP on the Covenant all at once, it's seamless. It's it's literally a huge single map. Would you ever consider remaking the end of a mission as a cut Pelican run? I mean, I could throw down a Pelican vehicle and do the same run. I would consider it. Yeah, I'd consider it. Like remaking it and redoing it. It's a lot of work, but it could be fun. Covenant mission, best Halo 3 mission? I agree. I think the Covenant is one of the best missions in all of Halo. I've spent so much time on this mission that it is ridiculous. I know how much you love the Pelican. You don't know that. You, you don't know that. Got to study foreign structures and study how textures are bespoke for an individual building versus tiled textures. A lot of different structures uh, use a similar shape, like certain similar shapes that are hard baked into textures, which I found kind of interesting. Okay, let me show you guys. I'm going to load up every single BSP at the same time. There is a... T oh my god, there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16 BSPs. Let's see if the game blows up by me trying to load all of them. Theoretically, you can only load like 13, I think, total. But maybe in Sapien it lets me load all of them. We'll see. Uh-oh. Sapien stopped responding. Okay, we're good, actually. Yeah, this is the cool thing about the Mission of the Covenant that I like a lot. It's that... The, there is nothing over here, but like you land on the beach here, the pelican drops you off, you fight your way through, and you go into the mountains through this little winding pathway, and then you do a bunch of stuff underground here, and then you come back out through the same pathway, you keep flying over, and then you make your way over here to like a third tower, you can see all three of these towers. The cool thing about this is though, if you go over here, look how it perfectly matches up, what's right on the other side of these towers literally perfectly matches you can even see it it was all built as like a single giant map 
The right over the top of the cliff is this. Better not talk about the rock again. It's right there. Just sitting, waiting. So actually, this is two of those rocks merged together for some reason. You can fly out of the windows in the elevator rooms. Oh yeah, no, you literally can because this is all... It's literally in here. The entire map is loaded out there. You fly out the window. You're out. I don't know if there's one in the middle. No, there's not one in the middle, but I think there might be one over here. No. It's cool though. Like the structure is real. It exists. So these are the kinds of structures I was debating putting into the mountainside. Because I thought it would be kind of cool, but like most of these structures here would not really be viable for putting into the mountains. I need something that can actually stick into the mountains. But yeah, it's a giant shield that's hiding this massive open area to the center of the arc. Which is like, if you're wondering like, what is this place? like. This is the center of the arc, right? Like, you look out there, that's the outside of the arc, and then you look over here, and it's like, oh, shit. You can see that's the center, that giant ball where the huge, uh, like, mini planet is, the planetoid that the Sentinels use for mining and stuff. Or you come over here, and it's like, oh, shit, there it is. This is the center of the arc. The Sentinels are slowly stripping away at the materials of it. And this right here, this line, this edge right here, is the edge holding back the massive internal structure of the arc. Which is really fucking cool. So they're building the halo ring in here. They're grabbing all the materials and they're building a whole ass ring and it's going to come flying out. Really fucking cool. I love the attention to detail. The arc is just a giant ball of raw materials. It is. It's so cool. My question is though, where's the cutscene BSP? Oh yeah, also, interestingly enough, the structure inside this door here is real and physical, and it matches perfectly to the outside, I think. Yeah, okay, you can even see the elevator here, so watch. You go inside the structure, you go up the elevator, and then this entire giant section that's sticking out here, this is where the final section of the mission takes place. So if I go inside... Check it out. It's actually all here. It's real. It's inside the building. They didn't just like magic it and use game design. That's one of the things I really appreciate about this mission and a lot of other Halo 3 missions is that they actually mapped out everything fully physically. It's super cool. Yeah, I think even the elevator ride that's in the cutscene that you don't really get to see. Yeah, it's, it's really in here. It's a whole ass elevator going up. Where's Johnson? Uh, I think he's somewhere in there. But there's nothing in here, sadly. Although there is a golden moa. Somehow. Why the fuck is there a golden moa in here? Oh, wait, because there actually is a structure in here. I'm loading in, I'm loading in. Am I going to crash? Oh, I made it. What is this BSP? I think this is only used for a cutscene or something. Right? No, this is the first tower. What am I saying? What is this and how do I steal it? What are you? Are you device machine? I want it. I want it. I've always wanted something like this. Uh, uh, uh. Devices, machines. Hollow switch, tower three hollow switch. That's so cool. Look at how cool that is. It just activates when you get nearby it. Huh? 
I want one. This is gonna be the huge ass Easter egg switch. You're gonna be like, oh, I see something weird in this secret area. Let me just walk up real quick and. <gasps> New forge object? I don't think you can forge machines, unfortunately. Maybe. I, I actually haven't really, uh, really tested it. It kind of looks like it's scripted to do something, though, which is interesting. Machines, what is it tied to? Like, how is it activating automatically? It doesn't have a power or position group set, which is weird because it's activating when I get near it. So let me see. Tower 3 hollow. It's a hollow switch floor. Let me look into this, actually. If I go into my tags folder, I'm going to search for it. We go hollow switch, and then hopefully we'll get hollow switch floor. Now you gotta switch a giant golden beam spawns. Okay, wait, this is the folder right here. Oh no, that's the sound folder. Let's try that again. Uh, so here's the shader. Tags, object gear, foreigner hollow switch floor. Hollow switch floor device machine. So if I if I open up Gorilla and I grab this and throw it in, what does it do specifically? Important name position to audio, default function, attachment. So what is it? That's power transition. Autom oh, this is it. That's cool. So device machines can have an activation radius, so when you get close to it, it activates and does a little animation. So that's what's happening. Whenever I get within 1.5 world units of this thing, that function is activating. Very cool. It's a door just opening and closing as you get close. I always thought, because I've never used device machines in any major capacity. I've only made a couple custom ones for like Easter egg animations and stuff. I didn't realize, I, I thought doors were activated on triggers. I didn't realize they just had a general activation radius. And when you activate it, Godzilla default dances and they're like, yeah, of course. You hit the cutscene happens. Interesting. Okay. I am going to use the restroom real quick. Enjoy the view of my cat. My cat, she jumped into the chair. Look how small she is, dude. She's fully grown. She's so tiny. You're so small. I love you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, baby cat. Yeah, she's tiny. And hopefully she stays that tiny forever. I think she's, you're like, you're a year old now, cat. Nearly. You're gonna stay tiny forever. And that's how it should be. I need a vlog about the cat. Well, maybe I'll like, I actually use my Instagram for once or something and then I'll put cat pics on there. 
interesting though. I was really, I'm really interested in how this device machine works. I, I think there's a lot I could do with this, theoretically. Elevator node, interesting. So you can have full on elevator nodes and things and have functioning elevators that like, that's so cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll do a device machine on huge ass as an Easter egg off stream or something. That said, we did get some good work on huge ass done, which was nice, but I need to do more. We need to be more productive. I've, I'm like scared to work on the map now because if I work on it on stream, it's gonna take a gazillion years to export and import, which is annoying and it just kills the stream because the map is so big. So I have to do all work on the map itself off stream, but I can, at least I can do like debugging or not debugging, um, like prototyping and stuff in game using like create objects. I am not short, Ray. I am a 6'2", okay? I am not a short person. That's one of the few things that fuels my tiny, tiny ego. Just kidding, I probably have a massive ego. I try not to though, I do my best. The only thing I'll have an ego about is how damn good this map is coming out. It looks fucking nice, dude. This map looks pretty fucking good, all things considered. Only 60. Ah, you're right. I'm a fucking, I'm a short king. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. To put the blood gulch base or not to put the blood gulch base? Six two isn't short. Listen, unless you're seven foot tall, stay out of my DMs. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Make it a forge piece. I want to make it a proper part of the map, like the bases that are down here. But something properly good. I just don't think there's any structures that I, that really exist that'll work well. Something like this would be nice though. Over here, kind of by the lake, in the sort of middle of the map. Let's see how this plays though. How does this how does this play? Let me open up tag test again. Get the full experience. Actually, wait, to get the full experience, let me do. I wanna place down some of the multiplayer stuff real quick. Like, uh, God, I need to get all the multiplayer objects in here. I don't think they're scenery. I think they're crate objects, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to add in all of them real quick. They're under... God, my fucking nose is running today. I think I'm going to get myself sick by staying up too late recently. Objects, multi, CTF, return area, and spawn point. So a CTF spawn point, whoops, that's not what I meant. CTF spawn point would go here. So this is, this will be the spawns on capture the flag. And it is, this space in the sunny side of the map will not be neutral. This is symmetric CTF defender team. Flag will spawn here. Right in the center. Like that. That's the defender flag. And then the return area will be down here, I guess. This will be the return plate. 
So it's supposed to be kind of close, and I suppose that, that works. CTF flag return plate. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll do the same thing over here to keep things nice and nice and even. So this will be capture the flag spot. This the geometry really is messed up. Okay, I don't know what happened with the geometry here, but this this bit of instance geo is like scuffed somehow. I'll have to fix that in uh, in Blender later. I have no idea how that happened. Anyway, not important right now. What is important though is adding a neutral CTF flag with a flag point right here. So this will be ignore CTF neutral. I don't know if that'll spawn, but I can give it a try. Save the map. We're trying to merge a BSP from 020 base from Crow's Nest. I could theoretically, but I'm not sure the point in doing that, to be honest. Scaled up blood goal space so vehicles can enter. Theoretically, that could work. On game start levels. Multi, huge ass remastered, huge ass remastered. Um, doing something like that would be possible, but like what BSP are you talking about? Like a, like a hangar bay and a, a wall or something? Grow nets. Okay, debug zero H and four phone four. Okay, we are now. Oh wait, hold on. Game multiplayer CTF, and then we reload the map. Like the evac hangar part, I would, but the hangar is just too small to like. To do anything, the hangar barely fits one pelican, whereas this, uh, whew, excuse me, the custom edition hangar I'm using right now easily fits a long sword and many, many other vehicles. So I think the spire would be best for the center. It would be nice to have a big, tall structure that you can use air vehicles on. Okay, capture the flag capture is loaded. Flag. Good, good. I don't know if. Being on red team is going to work well here, but we will find out. Yeah, I think my flag exists down here. I should really make it so this thing can fly and look down further. It's kind of annoying that it can't. Okay, yeah, there's my flag, so that works. That's pretty cool. This will be a lot of fun, like just having the flag here on the structure, looking around like, oh fuck, seeing a long sword coming. I'm like, I gotta take cover in here, nukes on the way. The screenshot right there, capture the flag with the, the red base flag just blowing in the wind. Having a little marker all the way over, where is it? There. You can barely see the base off in the distance through the fog. You're like, all right, ladies and gents, somebody get in the scorpion. We're going across the map. We're going to pick up that flag. Somebody flies a pelican out over the hangar. You're just like, let's go, baby. This is going to be fun. Let's see if the neutral flag spawned. I don't know if it did, because I think I might have to specially load up one flag. One way to find out, though. New thumbnail? Actually, though, that would be a good thumbnail. Hello, I'm looking for the neutral flag. Does not look like the neutral one flag spawned. Let's see if I can't load up... 
Multiplayer, playtest variant, CTF variant, one flag, CTF. Okay, now that I did that, I can hopefully restart the level. Um, put AA guns near the flag. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah, actually, this map would be good for an AA gun. Wait, that's a really good idea for a point of interest. All right, we're on capture the flag. The question is, did the CTF-1 flag work? I don't see a marker on the flag, so I'm debating whether or not that actually worked. That requires an AA cannon. Yeah, I'm wondering where the best spot for an AA cannon would be, actually. Okay, yeah, it's not looking like the one flag command actually worked. I'm gonna assume that my red base flag is still over there somewhere. Yeah, okay, I can see the red flag just barely rendering it over here. Okay, okay. Coming through, coming through, excuse me, pardon me. Yep, I'm just, I'm getting through here real quick, excuse me. Yep, I'm just, I'll go out that this side. Hmm, neutral base or huge spire in the middle? Huge spire would be good. The A cannon fit on the lip of the crater right below the hangar? Yeah, yeah, no it would. I'm thinking a good place for the AA guns though would be kind of like on either side of the uh, the lake over there. They could just respawn every once in a while. Like both sides, like a corner of the lake each. Although I guess you'd have an advantage if your AA gun was like, closer to like the neutral spawn point there. Hmm. Let me take a look at this in, uh, in Sapien. Spawn in a vehicle of BFG. Okay, so for spawning in a an AA gun, would one work here? They're relatively small, all things considered. So having a an egg on either side of the lake would be kind of cool. Let me edit the physics model. It The physics model does not actually work, except it just bugs me. Let me switch the physics model of this thing over to not be fixed, but instead box type. Okay, better. Like that, lock placement to object. Maybe I should make it so you enter the cannon from below because trying to get in all the way up there is not exactly feasible. I have to like come all the way up here somehow, like in a banshee and then you can get in. Yeah, this was right. That being said, still works just fine at an incline. Miss the pelican just barely. Did it just phase out of existence? What was that? Did 
It becomes transparent after a while. What the hell? That's really cool though. This this is a great addition to the map. I'm definitely gonna keep these. I can just see AA cannons lobbing these things across the map regularly. Like, damn. Why is that? I gotta check the projectile though. I didn't even realize that this whole time the BFG projectile has been like disappearing after a moment. Where's the weapon? A turret weapon. What is the projectile it's using, actually? Say about four AA cannons in different spots. Not a bad idea. I don't know if I want to do all... Wait, do I want to do four? Two seems like it would be good. Oh, this is still using the old projectile? No wonder. What the fuck? Objects, vehicles, BFG, weapons. AA cannon projectile. Okay, that's that was a little weird. Or seems much. Yeah, I'm thinking probably two would be best. Let's see, projectiles. Thought I, it, it's still using the classic Halo 3 projectile effect. I thought I did more work on this than that. No wonder it's, it's disappearing after a while. It's literally disappearing because in the campaign mission it disappears into the sky. Duration bounds. How about I just make the duration like 40 instead? That way it never disappears. Is that a quick hacky fix? And now it never disappears. Perfect. This map is so big that it made that explosion look small. Only downside is I could theoretically fire inside one of these spaces. So if you're just stood here, eventually an AA cannon could come blasting inside. Which I don't know if that's a bad thing actually. It would take so long for the beam to travel there. You can't hit anything. You, you literally can only hit the ceilings. Even on the closer base, if I fire this gun the furthest I could get, it'd be like... Yeah, you can just fire at the ceiling. CTF, Assault, and Slayer are good huge-ass modes. I agree. I think those are ideal modes. It's true at the center of the lake. That way they aren't in danger of the legs getting swarmed with camps and war dogs. Yeah, I think this is a good place to... Put them one on this side and one on the other side. Right at the water line. I thought I'd be doing this on extinction first, but you no, know, this works pretty well here too. Thoughts on Rogue Scare patrolling the map slowly? Nah, not in multiplayer. This is cool though. A BFG on either side of the lake. I do think it's better if it's not on the beach though. Let me move this back slightly. Like there. Oh. Uh. Good. Or is it floating? Oh, that seems good. I do need a way to get up onto these things, though. Are these things running transparent from far away? What am I seeing? I can't even tell. Okay, can you hit this? Okay, you could hit the neutral base from either of these, equally so. 
Grav lift equipment spawns. Does a grav lift equipment get you up this high? This seems like it would take more than a grav lift to get you up. I think it would launch you close though. Let's see. Uh, equipment, equipment, items, equipment. Do tags, objects, equipment, grav lift, equipment. I could make new equipment for this. That's like a man can equipment. Somebody had a suggestion for that. Oh, it almost gets me up there. If I jump with it, it'll get me in. Not bad. Make a custom grab lift that shoots you higher. You know, it's starting to look like I don't even need that. Because if I just regularly get in the grab lift, it pretty much gets me in. Custom grab lift that shoots you higher would also be fun in the sandbox. I agree. What if I did like a grab lift that looks the same, it's like slightly bigger, but the effect is just like blasting out like it's... Because right now when I shoot the... Why does that look so weird? And bright. I guess it's just the shape of it. Right now when I fire the grab lift equipment, notice that like... It's cool, it's got a little heat wave effect, it's kind of fiery and plasma-y. But it kind of looks like it launches you at the speed it launches you at. What if I had one? First of all, why does it... It deploys like flat on the ground every time, doesn't it? What if I deploy it like on the side of this? Does it also just stay perfectly upward if I... Okay, well it just went through it for some reason. Yeah, it always lands facing directly upwards. I don't like that. It doesn't stick to surfaces. That's weird, it should stick to surfaces. Yeah, it always goes facing straight up. Always to play up to how it's thrown in the equipment tag. That's a shame. Okay, so if you don't jump with it, it almost gets you there, but if you do jump into it, it easily gets you up to the right height. Well, nearly. It has to be a projectile to stick to surfaces. Projected isn't the type to do hacky. <laughs> you just described the entire Halo 2 Scarab spawner, but yeah, sure. This could only be described as hacky. Also, this would be a terrible vehicle for this map, I think. Only by necessity. That is true. That is true. If this was not necessary, this was not necessary to be hacky, then. Yeah. I miss the scarab custom, yeah.
And you know what? Most of this map is barely hilly, so this Scarab would look half decent on here, I will say. I'm not picky. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. Well, I'm a little picky, actually. Though, I'm afraid to say I'm not sure there is a place for there being this in the sandbox. I could do this. Have a spawner here for it. It would be like really awful. But since this is not a forge only game mode, I could make it a permanent fixture on the map and also have the map control its spawns and despawns. And it's not much of an issue if you just go through a tree either. Not bad, not bad. Joe the Assassin, thank you very much for that $10 super chat. Much appreciated. Very, very generous of you. What about the one AI controlled anti air or scarab off to the side? The projectile isn't so fast that it will not snipe everyone and could have a target range limit to not shoot the hangar. That's a, not a bad idea, to be sure. Like. Oh, I almost sneezed, but I yawned at the same time and I lost it. Oh, that's so rough. Um, I just don't want anything to be uh, like AI controlled on this map, at least not by default. Maybe an AI forge placeable one is a decent idea. But on its own, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I just want everything to be player controlled. Everything should just be Team Slayer, Capture the Flag. And I don't want anything to be potentially buggy with AI and multiplayer unless you choose to place it in forge mode. Is this Halo Infinite 2? It's like Halo Infinite point two. <laughs> Zero point two, yeah. I don't know, it could be fun to have scarabs like behind these bases actually now that I'm thinking about it. Not the worst idea ever. It could just be placed like that. But if you want to get in the scarab you'd have to like... I don't know, let's see, what is it like in tag test? Is it any good? Is it any good? Speaking of AI, don't forget to send me that script. Oh yeah, no problem. Actually, if you open uh, Ultimate Forge and Assembly, you can find the script in there. It's literally like the only scripts in the map. Although it's only going to be useful if you spawn AI in through uh, the method, I forget what it's called, game, multiplayer, CTF, game, start, Level slash multi slash huge ass remastered slash huge ass remastered. Too young for assembly. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's a really useful tool though. I had to use it for all the hot fixes I did. It's basically Gorilla. It's just a shittier version of Gorilla. Actually, that's exactly what it is. It's literally a version of Gorilla with less stuff you can do, but it works on. It works on map files, so that's good. Big sad? Why sad? Halo 4 needs a shader for Forge World's complex yeah. shader nonsense? I doubt it. I'm sure you could find a, an in-between. Is it like a terrain shader or something? Assembly is a much more user-friendly UI. It does! Assembly is so much better. Wait, what am I doing? I don't need to take this. I need the teleporter. Where is the teleporter? And why did it only appear in Forge? Whatever. 
Yeah, it's a terrain shader. I'm sure that you can get it terrain. Have I ever seen Halo 4's material tags? Briefly. Woo! There it is, Scrab. I don't know about having scarabs on this map. It's kind of useless. Friend who's Discord light mode. Stop being friends with them immediately. They're insane. That's a psychopathic killer you've got on your hands. There's simply no way a normal, functional member of society would ever consider using Discord light mode. The way it burns your eyes out. And do we have the Rocket Warthog? I don't. Although I could consider making a Rocket Warthog for sure. Where, like, you know, it's got that dark brown color with the yellow stripe. Hi, girl. I'm sure a bunch of people have already made it, though. But I probably want to make it myself. I think everything on this map is my own tags. Demon, thank you for the $2. Super chat, appreciate it. AI scarab guarding a base in the middle. I've been getting a lot of suggestions saying add that. But you know what I might do is I'll just throw the AI scarab onto the forge menu. And just if people want to do that as a game mode, that is entirely on them. They may. The scarab engine sound make it stop. All right, all right, relax, man, relax. It's gone. Oh no, no bipeds using IK floating foot. Fuck. Oh no, he is now at 332k subs. I know, I have to make videos, dude. I have to make videos. Fuck. Nobody subscribes for live streams. It's so bad. Alright, well, the Scarab's pretty okay. Um, I am now very hungry, though. And uh, I do want to make edits to the map geometry itself. So I think what I'm going to do is, for today anyway, I'm going to end the stream here. That is it. Um, I need to go get work done. I need to go do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So, like I said, stream ends here. I do want to give a huge shout out to you guys, actually, for being here, for supporting me. We hit the tip goal today. Uh, no small part, uh, in part due to Demon, just randomly finishing us off early. But then again, there was a lot of other people who th threw in tips, which I'm very thankful for. A lot of other people who threw in super chats today, which I'm very, very thankful for. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat. I'm very, very hungry. And then I'm gonna go chill for the rest of the night, I think. Get some work done. Probably, no, I'll probably get some work done on the map. Who am I kidding? This map's nearly complete, and I'm enjoying it. Only a couple more things to finish up, and then I'll be good. So, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in for the day. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Be sure to be a notification bell on, or at least in the Discord, so I can ping you when I'm live. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Master Oof, you motherfucker! I'm sending you the scripts. Stop spamming me at the end of my stream. Jesus Christ. Good night. I'll mod reach, Joe, okay? I'll mod reach! Sorry, hangry. Really, really hangry. I'm gonna go eat breakfast. <laughs> Good night, you guys.